hope will save the Olympic star from going to prison for 25 years to life. Pistorius claims he killed his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp, by mistake, thinking she was a dangerous intruder. He shot through a toilet door before dawn on Valentine's Day last year. Prosecutors say Pistorius murdered Steenkamp after a fight. Legal experts say taking the stand is a risk Pistorius' defense has to take. South Africa has no trial by jury, meaning the judge will pronounce Pistorius guilty or not guilty. I'm Ed Donahue. It's a red-hot topic that's rocking Wall Street, and a recent book is stirring up the controversy. Now the Justice Department is investigating high-frequency stock trading. Correspondent Jerry Bodlander explains why. There are a number of investigations already underway related to the practice, which involves super-fast computers making buy and sell decisions in milliseconds. Appearing before a House panel, Attorney General Eric Holder announced the Justice Department is also investigating. To determine whether it violates insider trading laws. Getting information a fraction of a second ahead of someone else can mean big money. Holder said the department is committed to ensuring the integrity of the financial markets. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. In health news, disease detectives at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are using a new strategy to combat disease outbreaks. Correspondent David Melendi has the latest. The CDC's plan is to outsmart the bugs that cause foodborne disease outbreaks. It'll routinely decode the DNA of these germs, starting with listeria, bacteria especially dangerous to pregnant women. Federal and state officials are sequencing the genomes of all the listeria infections diagnosed in the U.S. this year, along with samples found in tainted foods or factories. That'll help find people with matching strains who may have gotten sick from the same source. It's the first time the technology's been used for routine disease surveillance. David Melendi, Washington. And hundreds of high school students built robots that can throw balls to compete in the 14th annual New York City First Robotics Competition held over the weekend. Correspondent Julie Walker has the story. The teams had six weeks to build the robots, which were very basic on the outside, but quite sophisticated where it counts, says Mustafa Ansari, a senior at Plainview Old Bethpage JFK High School. They almost look like, you know, tractors and cars and stuff, and you don't really consider them to be robots, but it's all technology. As for today's experience... Coming here is just so much fun, and seeing what I've built work is just fantastic. Winners from this regional event go on to the national finals, and competitors also qualify to apply for $19 million in college scholarships. Julie Walker, New York. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Hi, I'm Clint Webb, and I'm running for Senate. I have a short cropped haircut, a pretty enough yet accessible looking wife, and a newborn baby that I've dressed in a suit to prove to you that I mean business. For the last 15 years, I've lived my life in such a bland, uncontroversial, and repressed manner that it's almost unnatural. Why? Because I've been preparing to be a representative since I was a child. Most well-adjusted sane men would be hesitant to take a job where their decisions would so drastically affect the lives of so many. But not me. I possess a sort of sociopathic narcissism that makes me think that I should be in charge of everyone. But all of that needs to start here at home, in this beautiful state that I've grown to love since I moved here 18 months ago. Together, we can piggyback some of our state's legitimate needs onto my unquenchable lust for self-glorification. And that's a promise. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you in the studio tonight, it is Ian here. And Conan. And Daryl. Conan joining us. uh, First time since, well, not the first time being on the air on Free Talk Live. You did some fill-in work uh, when Mark and I, I think, went to the Texas Texas Bitcoin conference. And uh, and I I listened to some of it and it sounded like you had a good time. Yeah, it was one of the B teamers. So figured to have you back in, uh, Conan. You are one of the hosts, the creator of uh, Black Sheep Rising. Right, right. If anyone wants to see that, uh, it's a weekly vodcast. Uh, we focus on a lot of uh, the keen activity 
Uh, we, in fact, a lot of the guests, panelists, are activists here in Keene. We meet together every Sunday. We talk about what's going on. When we run out of that, you know, which is hard to do because mm-hmm. there's always something, so going, something on going on here. On. Uh, we'll just talk about whatever, and uh, we have a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a TV show originally. Uh, it's you, there's an audio version of it for podcasting, mm-hmm. uh, but you guys produce it originally as a television program. It is also not safe, safe for, work. for work. Yes, yes. so uh, uh, it is an after hours late night variety show. Um, and uh, not good for the kids. I, I don't think variety show would be the correct term. Yeah, I mean, but we because variety show is sort of like one of those things to where here's this act. All right, good job. You had your three minutes, and now here's a guy that's going to juggle while talking with a puppet. Well, when you're on, mm-hmm. the show is the way that you remember it. But whenever, like last night, we had the uh, Robin Hooders on. And we had the hookah out, and we were uh, taking nice. uh, the Maggie Hassan shots, the new vodka that she's uh, selling. <laughs> uh, so we had a good old time. Uh, for the, do- the, the dog. The- for our listeners who don't know, Maggie Hassan or Hassan or whatever Hassan. her name is, uh, she's the governor of New Hampshire, and the state of New Hampshire sells alcohol, and they actually released their own vodka mm-hmm. in a state of New Hampshire. It's actually not bottle. a government made vodka they've well, contracted not. with someone to if have a special bottle if the government made it they'd probably be having people going blind because they'd screw it up yeah i think it's made in alabama actually i think that's the, the label we saw on the on the back i don't but, know uh, of any places in alabama that make vodka but, it, it, but it's a revenue maker and they wanted to save the flags and i don't know who's buying this 30 dollar bottle of alcohol the bottle you know it's just horrible we, we so we did it's a nice ugly it's we did, so we did a, ugly it, yeah it looks like a like a pile of doo-doo I Did mean, you play Garrett's advertisement that he made for it? No. We, uh, Have you uh, seen it? Many, many weeks ago, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. But so that, that never Ga- came up. Garrett the the one that at least one news outlet reported as a actual advertisement <laughs> put out by the New Hampshire governor. It's a very fun 30-second clip. I I uh, definitely recommend uh, shooting over to his site and... Uh, yeah, fun to go. Fun to, fun to go. It, it, his site's freeconquer.org. You can also find it at freekeen.com. Every time I watch that, it's it makes me laugh out loud, even if I'm alone. You know how it's, sometimes it's harder to laugh out loud when you're alone? That's the indicator to me that something's really funny. Right, right. Yeah, because you don't need anyone else there to laugh at it. it. I thought it was great. It's so cheesy. so obviously fake, too, that anybody would think that that was a legitimate commercial. It's pretty ridiculous. So you were saying uh, the vodka, et cetera. Yeah, okay. we, I mean, this is this was not a Daryl show. We were trying to do everything that Daryl would uh, pull his hair out. Mm-hmm. So, the, therefore, your dog was on the show. Dog was jumping from lap to lap, tail wagging, you know, making all kinds of noise. Yeah. Daryl Pro- hates your dog. Yes, he does, with a passion. I, I like never dogs that are that. really calm. Yeah. Which is not my dog. No. Which is not his dog. His dog <laughs> is like a race dog on speed. Yes, and he's he's neutered. So to think what he might have been, oh, you know, dear. if he had retained uh, the the male uh, <laughs> chemicals, the, the passion and yeah. the thrive. <laughs> so yeah, we had a we had a blast last night. And I can't wait till uh, I get that up. I usually get it up and running because on uh, Wednesday it'll it'll play on Chester TV. And then, so if you're in uh, Keene, New Hampshire, you get to see it first on television. Yes, Channel Eight, uh, ten o'clock on Wednesday. And then later on, maybe like by the weekend, by Sunday, it's usually mm-hmm. up on the internet. Yes, yes. On freekeen.com. So blacksheeprising.org is the website. All right, so our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, I'm glad to be back in the Shire after been uh, having been gone for a few days down to Sarasota, Florida, which is where I'm originally from. You know, it's always nice to go and see some old friends and my old dog, but... Uh, yeah, and I got to take the Scat bus. Yes, that's right. They actually named their bus the Sarasota County Area, Area Transit. Transit. That's right. I saw the sign <laughs> and yeah, I took I a picture and put it bust up on out Facebook. laughing because it was just so funny. Maybe I should share that to the Free Talk Live uh, Facebook page tonight. Oh, you so definitely people, should. People can see that it's real. They really did name the bus system that, and it's been that way ever since I've been. Yeah, a kid. It looks like it needs to be a part of one of those. Can you believe this sign actually exists somewhere? <laughs> yeah. You know, lists. <laughs> And it's funny, you know, it's not a terrible bus system, but it is kind of funny. Somebody posted a, a comment on mine, like, you know, that basically describes every bus system that they've ever taken. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's where I was. Uh, back now, we'll take your calls about absolutely anything, of course, that's on your mind. We've got some drug-related stories here to start things out tonight. And then 
a really disturbing sounding reality television show. Uh, you know, don't really do a whole lot of pop culture news on Free Talk Live, but this one's pretty bizarre. We'll share that with you coming up here in a little bit. Uh, on the way, Conan will be telling us about North Korea and methamphetamine. Or was that you, Daryl? That me. was you, Daryl. You've got that story. Conan's got something uh, about marijuana. Yeah, According spe- to one of prosecutor, dogs. it's for the dogs. Yeah, yeah the, the, the prohibition of marijuana is for the dogs. Yes. And uh, I also have some pot related news out of Colorado. Well, let's start with yours, uh, Conan, if you happen to have it handy. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually on my uh, smartphone because uh, someone uh, broke my laptop. But hey. Is yours out of uh, Col- Colorado, this story? This is, is this from the Huffington Post, and it's Washington. So mm, Okay. But uh, the article is the DEA chief, please. Think of the oh, dogs. Oh, this isn't just some prosecutor. Before you legalize pot. Yeah. Is this Michelle Leonhart? This is Michelle Leonhart. Interesting. Is this is that the, your person as well? That's that's the DEA chief. I just want to make sure that's who it was and yeah. <laughs> Michelle Leonhart, the head of the Drug Enforcement Administration, has a message for those considering legalizing marijuana. Please think of Fido. <laughs> Tara testifying on the DA budget during a House Appropriations Subcommittee hearing on Wednesday, Leonhart said she expected a number of things to happen after Washington and Colorado were allowed to go forward with the legalization of marijuana last year. What she didn't anticipate was the impact on man's best friend. <laughs> there uh-huh. was just an article last week, and it was on pets. It was about the unanticipated or unexpected consequences of this and how veterinarians now are seeing dogs come in, their pets come in, and being treated because they've been exposed to mar- marijuana, Leonhardt dun, dun, said. Dun, dun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dogs also go to the vet if they chew on bubble gum or eat your dental floss out of the garbage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, one, of the, uh, one of our uh, friends here in the community, uh, Joe, I had to take his dog in just recently because it ate one of his tube socks. Oh, yeah, and then he Ugh. brought the tube sock to show people this is the <laughs> sock that my dog ate. So, wait, he passed the tube sock, or how the hell did they get that thing back? Uh, I believe they had to do a surgery to remove yep. the tube sock oh my God. from the intestinal system. I hope he washed it after that. Yes. They, they said that he washed it, but... It uh, was washed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had it on the show, and uh, it was quite, uh, yeah, unappealing. Yeah, I don't know if a if a tube sock would be that important to me that I would want to keep it around after that. No, I think he's only keeping it just to, to show, show people. people like this okay. is what my dog. Was ate. it discolored or anything like that? Yeah, it was definitely discolored. Yeah, wow. it was brown. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a white tube sock when the dog ate it, but when Not it anymore. was removed. It was brown. Stomach acid can do some damage, I suppose. Mm-hmm. So Leonhardt said that uh, <laughs> it's all about the edibles. Again, it goes back to the edibles. That's it goes right. back to the products that are in the household. These must be stopped. That are now made from marijuana, and it is impacting pets, Leonhardt continued. We made a list of the outcomes we thought that might happen in these two states. We never thought of putting pets down. Leonhardt was Ridiculous. Ridiculous. She was referencing a story in USA Today, which noted that the effects of the marijuana could make it more difficult for a dog to breathe or vomit up a product that could kill them like butter. The this, USA- this is the most desperate thing I've heard so far uh, about you know the fear mongering surrounding marijuana decriminalization or legalization in these cases. Yeah, they're reaching. Uh, oh yeah, they are. In fact, I've got a, a personal story that might tie into this uh, about animals and cannabis. Eight fifty five, four fifty three. We'll continue here in moments. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins. Isn't there like a Bitcoin General Store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. 
That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post minivan and pre retirement. And they don't like being called boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live, and you are invited to take control of the airwaves toll-free. Lots of fear-mongering going on out there about edibles. In fact, uh, that's what is the basis of the story that I have in relation to cannabis legalization tonight. Uh, Fear-mongering story number one, however, Conan is uh, sharing with us about your dogs. They're trying to say that the reason we shouldn't have legal cannabis is not for protecting the humans now. Well, of course, I'm sure they'll still say that. But uh, it's really about the dogs. These are the peop- These are the uh, the things that are the most defenseless. Mm-hmm. Our doggies cannot possibly make decisions for themselves. And, and all, all this really is is basically a public service announcement of make sure you put the stuff somewhere your dog won't get it. Yeah, well, as that's is just, that's with just, anything, that's you just don't being want the dog to get uh, into. Well, unless you just want to spend a bunch of money on getting your dog high, then uh, yeah, you definitely should lock up your edibles. I mean, that makes sense. In fact, I've got a personal story that'll tie into this discussion here in a moment. Also, want to make sure you know uh, about cashintocoins.com. That is the place if you're ready to get into Bitcoin. I uh, I hooked my parents up this weekend with a with their Bitcoin with a Bitcoin wallet. Uh, from blockchain.info, and I gave them some Bitcoin. But if you want to go and start on your own, you don't have someone who's going to just give you some Bitcoin, uh, you have to acquire the Bitcoin. So you get the Bitcoin wallet first from blockchain.info, and then, uh, or however you want to do it, that's a good one, though. 
And then you can go to cashintocoins.com and hook yourself up with bitcoins by sending in a money order, a check, or a wire transfer to Cash Into Coins, and they will send you back bitcoin into your wallet. It is simple, it works, it's easy, it's safe, fast, legal, and inexpensive, and customer service is their top priority. Daryl, you and I have both used Cash Into Coins. Yes. I uh, will absolutely use Cash Into Coins again in the future. And by the way, if you just want to you just want to step your foot in the water, your toe in the water a little bit with Bitcoin, try try getting less than $40 worth from cashintocoins.com, and you'll find there's no fee. You know, Normally, when you transfer money into another form of money, uh, there's a fee involved, uh, some sort of fee. And there would be if you spent more than $40 at cashintocoins.com. But just to encourage people to try out Bitcoin, they're doing less than $40, no fee to change cash into coins at cashintocoins.com. So, again, our toll-free number here tonight. Do you have a story that you can share in relation to animals and cannabis? Because there are plenty of... I knew a lot of cannabis smokers growing up, and I knew a lot of people who, uh, when they would get out the rolling tray, the dog in the house would come right over and sit down and look up expectantly, <laughs> waiting for the joint to be rolled, so the dog could in, could engage in smoking cannabis with the owner. Yeah, who hasn't blown a big old puff, a big old cloud puff, right into your dog's face? Who hasn't done that? Exactly I have right. it because I don't have a dog. Yeah. Um, now, not every animal's into this, right? So, uh, you know, you can blow something at a dog, and they'll they might turn away from it and go away. Uh, but some dogs are are very interested in this. And and I would I, some people I think have done it to their cats too. I've personally not done that, but um, yeah, this reminds me of the uh, the young dolphins who were chewing on oh, yeah. blowfish. Did you? We, watch we that actually talked yeah. about that a couple of months ago on this show. Yes, we yes. did. Well, uh, it, I, I went home that day and I watched episode one. I think that it wasn't in episode one. It was in the second one, which I yeah. haven't watched yet. But the, but I do recommend the first episode. It's a, it's a whole. Wasn't uh, that called Eye on the Pod? Yeah, they put cameras on. Uh, turtles and you know other animals, and they snuck right up on the dolphins and saw. They're fake cameras. Well, they're not, they're fake animals. The cameras mm-hmm. are the tur- the turtle itself is the camera device. It's got propellers in it or whatever that can make it go. So the idea was they wanted the dolphins to not have humans around Correct. to affect their behavior. And wow, what they saw, a fascinating! They saw all kinds of good things like dolphin so orgies neat. and the whole nine. I mean, it was. So, the, the, it's hard to really describe how many like mind blowing things are in this doc, uh, documentary. It's BBC mm-hmm. presentation. Uh, I believe it's called Eye on the Pod. I'll, we can double check that here in a little bit. But it's two parts, two hours, and fascinating stuff about how the, kind of the dolphins have this social system and they have traditions within their pod. Essentially, like even the same. Uh, not breed, that's not what I'm looking for, but even the same kind of species or whatever of dolphin, because there's different types. The oh, yeah, lots, and, lots of them. Yeah, so there is, so even within the type of dolphin, there's different pods of dolphins, you know, that, that swim and hunt together. Like the, the the males hang out, the young hang out, they have their own little cliques. And they spy have... Spy in the pod. Thank you, spy in the pod. And so they have uh, traditions that they pass down, generation to generation. They were showing the young like a youngin, mm-hmm. and how they were kind of showing it the ropes on how to do certain how, things. How to was, harvest fish. Yep. Where they would circle around the fish, and they would slap their 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 fins, and they would make a dust cloud around That's the right. fish, and they'd, they'd catch them in a little corral. And when the fish tried to jump out, all the whole family of dolphins would just be sitting there waiting for the fish to jump right into their mouths. They corral the fish toward the shoreline, and the fish are morons, so they don't know what the hell is going on, and the fish just want to get away from the, the dolphins, mm-hmm. so they go start swimming toward the shoreline and of course they get sh- shored essentially uh and so at that point the fish are just flopping around on the the beach and the dolphins just kind of roll right up open their mouths and yep. the fish jump right in their mouths and of course human fishermen have figured this out long time ago yep. and they'll actually work with the dolphins that's right and uh, they'll work together and they'll give the scraps to the dolphins the dolphins like stuff. doing what they're doing uh, that's amazing yes i highly recommend that so it was spy in the pod spy on the pod. Dolphins spy on the pod. Fascinating stuff. And then what you were referencing was the young dolphins, kind of like the teenage dolphins, essentially, uh, had taken this puffer fish. They did not kill the puffer fish. They only kind of manipulated it. They put it in their mouths just a little bit so where the puffer fish would react and mm-hmm. puff up. And when the puffer fish does that, it releases a toxin, which gets the dolphins high. That's right. And so they literally were passing this puffer fish around 
much like a human uh, human uh, puff, teenage puff, group pass. would uh, do the same thing with a marijuana cigarette. So. My question is still: Does the puffer fish enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, because it, it might release some sort of thing that you know gives pleasure to the puffer fish. He probably enjoys not getting eaten. I, I I'm gonna guess he probably doesn't enjoy that very much. Yeah. So the the, the non-aggression principle has been broken. Yeah. The uh, the, the dolphins <laughs> sound like might be just as violent and aggressive as we humans. So yeah, what, how do you like people that? People have also seen dolphins rape other dolphins oh, and no. other sea life. Oh, that's horrifying. Yeah. So dolphins are not necessarily, you know, not aggressive creatures. Yeah. Well, they're not that different from you and I, from human beings. We have thumbs. They have blowholes. No. Are you saying you're better than a dolphin? <laughs> no, I'm saying that okay. there are obvious physical there differences. There are differences. I just if, said they're not any, any uh, I guess I mean they're not you're, any You better. said they're not they're any not different. If you're familiar with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the dolphins are the second smartest animal on the uh, planet, and they actually got away before the planet was blown up. Humans, not the th first, the third smartest. So there you go. Dolphins went out. Thumbs or no thumbs. They are smart, smart creatures. And there are other uh, things you can watch online about, like YouTube videos, like about teaching dolphins to speak with humans. And that's pretty fascinating. You yeah. know how they do with the uh, the monkeys or the chimps? They've got the thing, the buttons that they can press and right, right. They speak up to something like 600 words in some cases. Uh, they're doing similar things with, with dolphins, being wow. able to communicate with dolphins in the future. Very cool stuff. I think it'll only be a matter of time before they actually figure out a way to get dolphins to communicate with chimps, which I think would be pretty neat. Uh, 855 450 free. Imagine what the conversation would, would be like. That would put a whole new twist to SeaWorld. 855-450-3733. We'll continue with the marijuana edibles. Uh, marijuana, the uh, head of the DEA has stepped into this discussion, and she said we've got to keep marijuana illegal for the dogs. We'll come back with more. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Call me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. 877-996-4327, extension 128. That's 877-996-4327, extension 128. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Free Talk Live. To be free is to be clear-headed. I am. F I, you know I, I, I do well encourage I people. Do. Somebody gets down and smokes a joint and gets high. They sit on the couch and they turn into a blob. Yeah, well, you, I, I don't think you know much about people that smoke pot, Christy. Right. Yeah, Christy. Um, I, I am you know, they procrastinate. That's what you guys were talking about on your show no tonight. Cliche. About okay, then, okay then, Christy, then what I can say then is the people that don't smoke pot make sweeping generalizations because you just did. It seems like the vast majority of humans use some kind of substance throughout their day or week. Not Christy. She doesn't. Well, what a sad, sad state of Do you affair. have a cup of coffee we in the morning, Christy? And th at this time in our, in our history, if that's... We've the always done it. Christy, it's been I done throughout know. humans. People, well, how okay. many people do you know, Christy, that can't function without a cup of coffee? Well, you have to have a bread, you know, piece of bread to live, to survive. We're not talking coffee. about food. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. 
It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a mm. license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and Wealth. Fair and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come you to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want, toll free. Do you have an animal cannabis story that you can tell us? I know you do. Uh, you can call in and share that with us because Michelle Leonhardt from the DEA is saying, we need to make sure we keep this cannabis illegal because the dogs could get it. And oh my gosh, dogs have been taken to the veterinarian because they've been eating marijuana. And, uh, of course, no one has said their dog has died from eating marijuana. But nonetheless, some people have been freaking out uh, after their dogs have eaten marijuana and have taken their dog to the vet. And, and so- I, I'm sure that this happened before cannabis was legalized in Colorado and Washington. But because of the illegal status, no one told the vet that's what happened to the dog. Could be. Uh mm. I wouldn't be, yeah, it could be true. Um, I guess I, I wouldn't be so paranoid about telling a vet something like that. I, but then again, I wouldn't be paranoid in general about telling a doctor I'd smoked cannabis. Right. That I would go and check into the doctor for smoking cannabis. But, you know, veterinarians, at least here in Keene, and I know that it happens in other places, mm-hmm. they have some kind of reporting policy to where if you take an animal in and there are licensing requirements for that animal, Hmm. then they will notify the local government, oh yeah, this person has this many of this animal. So let's continue the story here in a moment, but I want to also let you know about ProXPN. It is the sponsor of our phone lines here, and they are a global virtual private network that allows your online data to be encrypted uh, before it gets to your internet service provider. Because right now, your internet service provider is probably... Uh, storing records for up to five years, in some cases, of everything you do online. All the websites you visit, all the search terms that you enter into Google, it's all going into a database with your name on it. In fact, even if it wasn't you who is searching for those things, because if you've got a uh, like a Wi-Fi network at your house, let's say you've got some kids or grandkids are over or something like that, and they're searching for who knows what, that's all being logged. If your name's on the account, it's got your name on it. So you get ProXPN, you can solve that problem tonight. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. So not only does ProXPN not log what you do online, but also they prevent your ISP from knowing what you're doing because they're encrypting everything that you do. So that's very, very useful. But also, uh, ProXPN is amazing because it gets you around blocks, uh, online uh, content blocking. So let's say you've, you're going to visit a, another country like China where there's certain websites you can't go to or certain search terms that you are disallowed from entering. If you're using ProXPN on your laptop or smartphone, uh, you can get around those blocks. It's that simple. Just go to ProXPN.com FTL. 
and you can get signed up there. You can start with their free account, but you're going to want to upgrade to premium so you can get unlimited bandwidth, no restrictions on what you can do. So if you get the premium account, you can privately torrent with ProXPN. And the other thing you can do is select the server around the world that you connect to. So you can connect to the Netherlands server for maximum privacy when you're doing private torrenting, and uh, all the movie companies or whoever, they can't come after you uh, if that's the case. So very cool stuff. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL20. That's ProXPN.com slash FTL. Promo code FTL20, and you'll save 20% for the lifetime of your account. Conan is here uh, from Black Sheep Rising sharing with us a story from, I forget the source, but it's uh, the DEA's Michelle Leonhardt. Where is this from, by the way? This is a Huffington Post article. HuffPo. All right. So they're saying that Michelle Leonhardt, the head administrator of the DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, she is very concerned, oh, bravely yes. concerned oh, yes. about you, the health of your dog. And you were talking about the animals actually dying from consuming the product. and this That I don't next, believe has happened. Well, this next uh, paragraph actually goes into that. Okay. Uh, a Leonhardt, head of the DNA, DEA, was re- referencing a story in USA Today uh, which noted that the effects of marijuana could make it more difficult for a dog to breathe or vomit up a product that could kill them, could. like butter, which I uh, does oh. kill dogs. Yeah, so, or, or chocolate. Right, right. Yeah. So if your, your marijuana essence was uh, infused mm. into butter, well, then maybe there you go. But uh, right, and of course, I'm looking at a article about marijuana edibles and uh, that kids are getting into the the edibles, uh, and the, they do have chocolate based marijuana edibles. So there's a good chance that a dog will find a chocolate bar and eat that and yes. die, not because it had marijuana in it, but because it was chocolate. And dogs generally don't get along with chocolate very well, from what mm-hmm. I understand. The USA Today article noted, however, that on its own, marijuana itself is part- with, isn't particularly harmful to dogs and that dogs typically won't even eat marijuana by itself. The story referenced a 2012 study that found that two dogs who ate large amounts of marijuana infused butter died mm. out of a sample of 125 dogs that were believed to have ingested marijuana. Note to marijuana users in Washington and Cal- uh, Colorado, keep your dogs away from the pot brownies. It's a good idea just because they're so damn expensive. I mean, you don't want to let like your dog... like $5 do- a right, brownie. Right, you don't And that's want- a small brownie. Well, now, that's the black market price. I don't know what a brownie goes for in the regular market. It may be close because I've heard uh, the prices aren't really down very much from the black market in Colorado because of this insane level of demand. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, of course, they're only sell- being sold through licensed facilities. So there's still a restricted supply in Colorado. I, I don't know if prices really dropped that much below. If anyone's in Colorado and can and let us know if this is actually if the legalization of cannabis has actually changed the price because that's you know I predicted that that would happen and and all of the kind of the economics of the marketplace would suggest that if cannabis weren't illegal that the price would go down. However, if the government is effectively restricting the supply, then that could be the explanation as to why it is that prices are still on par with the black market. And I heard something a couple of days ago that said that the black market is thriving in Colorado Hmm. in the cannabis field. And if it's anything like New Hampshire, uh, where, you know, we are like the alcohol king of the New England. You know, we have all. We I have, think of the country. We're we one have of the Vermont top of the and New Hampshire. I mean, not New Hampshire, but Massachusetts. And these people are coming over over state lines uh, to buy. You know, tax free uh, amounts of vodka. Vodka, right? Maggie, but, Maggie Hassan's vodka. <laughs> but the cannabis in Colorado is far from tax free. But it, mm, but yeah. it is. You're, legal. you're adding like thirty two point six percent tax in Denver. Once That's you true. add the local excise taxes, the county excise taxes, and then the yeah. state taxes. But you can buy it without going to jail. That's true. Now, I uh, and that's a good point. There's a lot of tax on the, the cannabis. I looked at a receipt when, when this first hit, when the, the legalization first went through in January. I saw a scan of a receipt from one of the, the facilities that was selling the pot in Colorado and did the, you know, kind of looked at the numbers. And yes, it was a little cheaper than black market price can be just a little bit and if you took the if you factored the tax out then it definitely was cheaper like no doubt about it cheaper so that is an important thing to to keep in mind and then there's also the sales tax on top of the cannabis excise tax 
Right. And which is just absolutely ludicrous. And in Washington state, where they also legalized cannabis by ballot initiative, decriminalized. There's no. Did they Washington legalize? State, state legalized it. Mm. So they're taxing it there. In fact, I heard when we were talking about this initially when it happened that they're taxing it at all three levels. So they're taxing it at the grower's level. So it's kind of like a VAT tax. Yeah. Uh, they're taxing it at the grower before it goes to the wholesaler. Then they're taxing it at the wholesaler. Then they're taxing it at the retail level. So there's three levels, and it's like a 25 percent tax or something ridiculous. Oh. Like oh. That. So, Horrible. yeah. No, That's painful. I, you know, that, that kind of makes me glad that legalization didn't pass here in New Hampshire, because personally, I'd rather see decrim go through and have have it be a, a very small fine. Well, and there than, were two different legalization bills here in New Hampshire in the last oh, two yeah. years. There was the one bill that would have removed the word marijuana from oh, the awesome. state statute. That one was written by a Free State Project participant. The other one was based somewhat on the Colorado and Washington initiatives that would have with all the regulations and the you know ordinance. taxed and regulated. Yeah. And the, of course, the one that would have just removed marijuana went down in flames. Unfortunately, I don't think it even made it out of committee with yeah. a positive recommendation. Yeah, we really need more people here in New Hampshire. In fact, I heard there was a uh, candidates training seminar this weekend. I wasn't able to make it because I was in Florida, but I heard there were dozens of people who showed up uh, to hear Mark Warden, a state representative who's also a Free State Project participant, kind of give the you know the the, the basics on how to run a political campaign here in New Hampshire. Because you can actually come here as a liberty minded person. Person and get elected. It's happening. There's more coming up. We'll tell you more about that. And the cannabis story will continue in moments. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-No has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors, so it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card, and you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss. A once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like right here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. And, of course, you can join us online at freetalklive.com. We've got listening options. You get tuned in got live streams. Uh, you can tune into any of those. There's different size bandwidth uh, for different uh, internet connection speeds. So you can do broadband, mid-band, or narrow band streams. Maybe you're stuck on dial-up. Well, we actually have, yes, believe it or not, Daryl's looking at me quizzically, there are people who are still using dial-up out there. <laughs> and uh, you need something that is dial-up speed? We've got that. That's the narrow band stream. Go check it out at listen.freetalklive.com. We've also got over 140 radio stations coast-to-coast. That's a great way to save bandwidth. Just tune in on the radio. And uh, listen.freetalklive.com will link you over to it. Actually just got a couple of agreements in today. For, uh, for new radio stations that are going to be coming on board. Uh, actually, a couple stations have confirmed that they are airing the show now, so that's very exciting. We'll be announcing them this weekend because they're t- uh, Saturday affiliates. So you can go and get a list of our stations at listen.freetalklive.com. And there's also details on how to listen via satellite. So if you tune in via satellite, you get other great programs because then you'd be listening to LRN.FM, which features Daryl's show, Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on Sundays, and also all of your podcasts. Plus the five-minute daily newscast that I have been doing now for nine weeks. That's right. And uh, it also features Black Sheep Rising in audio form. So you can get on all kinds of great liberty-oriented shows, dozens actually of great liberty-oriented programs are heard on LRN.FM, and you can get that satellite channel directly to your home, into your living room, with some very, very affordable receiving equipment. The receivers cost 100 bucks. If you really want to splurge, you can spend $200 and get a really fancy receiver. Uh, The the dish itself is something like 70 bucks. It's really not a big investment. And then there's no monthly fee to tune into our satellite channel, which is it's what's called a free-to-air channel. It means it's not encrypted. So uh, go and get details on that at listen.freetalklive.com. We've also got a link there to the webcam and our listen lines that allow you to call in from any phone that can dial long distance and get tuned in that way at listen.freetalklive.com. We're talking about the uh, cannabis issue, uh, cannabis legalization. Of course, as it tends to be, it's never over as soon as legalization happens, because there's always that push to recriminalize cannabis. Uh, Alaska went through this, I believe, in the 1970s, when they pretty much had legalized cannabis there, or ser- seriously decrimmed it, and then there was a pushback from the uh, the drug warriors that actually had some level of success, and we're seeing that happen in Colorado and Washington, where the prohibitionists are f- flipping out that Oh my God, the dogs are going to eat marijuana. And we've actually got the DEA's head of the DEA saying that this is a reason why we need to keep cannabis illegal. And in Alaska, it's a little different because the Alaskan Supreme Court had actually made a ruling to some kind of effect that cannabis could not be made illegal, but it's still not technically legal in Hmm. Alaska. So it's got some sort of weird legal status. But yeah, it, it's the same thing of where they're trying to make, well, we have to make sure that we write the law in such a way as to where we can. 
So it's a really frustrating process, especially if you try to work through the system to change these things. In fact, there's going to be some bill coming up tomorrow in New Hampshire that'll allow, if it passes, will modify the medical marijuana program that the has passed here. The therapeutic cannabis program, Thank as you. it is called, uh, that will will modify that to allow a patient to grow up to two plants, two, uh, because they wouldn't allow any with the original bill that went through last year. And, uh, and of course, there, there's actually a provision in this bill that says that they can only grow the plants if they don't live within 30 miles of an official government distribution point. Right. And there's only going to be four government distribution points. It's ridiculous. Let's go Which to the Which means here. that a lot of people are going to live more than 30 miles away. True. And even if you live within 30 miles, why does that matter? What if you're crippled and you can't get up and go to the distribution point? Anyway, let's go to uh, Jason. You can bring up anything you want here on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind tonight, Jason? Do we have Jason hey, in we Utah? Have a, uh, full... Yeah, that's me. Yeah, we got you. Go ahead, sir. Hey, hey, um, okay, great. Hey, we have a full-scale range war going out here between a uh, ranching family called the Bundys uh, in northern Arizona, just over the border of uh, Utah here, with uh, the BLM uh, stealing all their cattle. Uh, and it's it just hit like uh, Drudge Report and Fox, so it's getting it's getting a little bit of uh, play, but it's been going on for a long time. And mm-hmm. the BLM is basically setting up for another Waco type situation where they're bringing in this this massive army to come in and take this uh, rancher's cattle. And uh, mm-hmm. the interesting thing that I thought you guys would like is uh, they've set up some some generous free speech zones for anybody who wants to travel down there and protest their no more than 25 people can be in these little roped-off areas, but the BLM has shut down uh, 600 acres uh, for you know our public lands, but they've shut it off to protect everybody from and, these and uh, horrible. What's ranches. their reasoning behind that? And BLM is Bureau Bureau's of Land, land management. management. For anybody that was curious about that acronym, is it like water resources that they're yeah. trying to protect or something? Well, it's it's about a twenty year old saga, and apparently, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Cliven Bundy is the uh, gentleman's name who is the, the leader of this family, and he actually knows his uh, law and constitution. So he he was basically paying. Uh, he has grazing rights, and you know these grazing rights out west, out here where we live, they go back hundreds of years. But the BLM changes those laws and basically tries to run off all the ranchers to do things like preserve. Uh, turtles that uh, nobody has seen for you know um, decades out there mm-hmm. and that's that's kind of what's going on here um clive and bundy decided to um stop paying his grazing fees and he in his words he fired the blm for managing the range hmm. because they weren't living up to their their end of the bargain which so so his cows are grazing so. on so-called federal land exactly uh-huh. exactly and now the blm has said that he is trespassing on the public land hmm. and uh he, he in the form of his cows would... right yeah. right right and and cliven has actually put the money that he would have paid the blm to do their job which you know they have to make improvements and do things which they haven't done he's put it into a trust and he has been making the improvements himself oh. to you know because this is his business you know he has like uh i think about 900 head of cattle out there um Kind of an interesting story. I thought it'd be right up you guys. Yeah, I actually had it in the show uh, prep for tonight, so I'm glad that you brought it up. We can definitely definitely get into that. Uh, There's two headlines, uh, one from Infowars.com. Ruby Ridge styles standoff brewing as Bundy says he's prepared to be killed. Uh, Is that what you've heard? Is that are they... uh, you know, are are they exaggerating at Infowars, or is it your understanding that this, you know, that this is looking like it might come to violence? Well, um... I don't know the Bundys personally, but I have some friends who are in contact with them on a daily basis, and we're actually headed down there uh, sometime this week to go to a free speech zone because I, I want to be able to feel what it feels like to actually be free in America, so I'm going to stand in the free speech zone for a few minutes <laughs> and see what that's actually like. Uh, you're not serious, are you? Uh, no, of course. Okay, I'll have good. to send you some video of what it's like to actually be free in America. So you know. Well, I would hope that uh, anybody but, uh, going down there will be standing wherever they damn well please, as opposed to in their free speech zones, which are an absolutely insulting well, idea. One of the Bundy uh, clan, uh, Clive and Bundy's son, actually got arrested on Sunday night because 
he was not standing in the roped off area and he was filming them stealing his cattle and actually they 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 turned a German shepherd on him. Uh, yeah, I've got that story as well. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you yeah. what, we'll so get into it coming up in uh, in hour number two, Jason, and thank you for the heads up on the story. We'll Thanks, dig in here in a little bit. Uh, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So real quick, my story about dogs and cannabis, since I had a, a personal one to relate, that Michelle Leonhart from the DEA is saying that the, the dogs eating cannabis is a reason why we should make sure their uh, cannabis is illegal, especially those darned edibles. There's been a real push against the edibles side of the legalization. Like, you know, the people that have opposed legalization, sure, they'd like to recriminalize all of cannabis, but they kind of realize they've lost this cause at this point. So they're, they're just trying to stop the edibles in a lot of cases. And uh, when I was a teenager... Went to a couple uh, friends' house, and he had a big old dog, like a 150-pound dog, the monster dog. And the next day, after we had hung out outside at his house and smoked copious amounts of cannabis, the next day, we realized that the his bag of pot was gone. Mm. And so people started thinking it was someone who stole the pot, and we're, you know everybody's blaming everybody else. Oh, it must have been such and such. Such and such would have taken that marijuana and and you know i didn't want to think that somebody stole the pot it wasn't i don't remember whose it was um i think it was actually the homeowner's uh, pot or the kid's pot and then a few days later they found a baggie in a pile of dog poop outside <laughs> in the yard <laughs> dog that dog had eaten the entire bag of marijuana all on its own and it probably had itself a good night was the cannabis still in the bag no no obviously not i mean cannabis is going to get processed through the you know, well, I didn't know if he the swallowed the bag whole. I suppose. No, it, I don't think it was. Uh, more coming up here, but clearly, animals like to get high too. Hour number two is on the way. You can take control. It's Free Talk Live. Geico presents Fan Mail to a Pig. Dear Maxwell, I just want to say thank you for making my Geico insurance ID card digital. It's easy to find on the app. It doesn't give me paper cuts, and I always have it on hand because it's on my phone. Because of this, I finally cleaned out my glove box, which was filled with years of paper ID cards. Any thought on what I should put in my glove box now? Sincerely, Trent Patterson. Hmm, Trent, what can you put in the glove box? Here's a crazy thought. How about gloves? Digital insurance ID cards, just a tap away on the Geico app. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-443-7087. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus guaranteed 100% risk-free. Call 1-800-443-7087. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, April 7th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.92 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,302 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $455. 
Antiwar.com reports, instead of making their current round of negotiations in Athens about picking a fight with Russia, EU foreign ministers are courting the Russian government to help them with the bailout of Ukraine. German Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier said it was important for Russia to realize how close Ukraine is to becoming a failed state and how undesirable it would be for Russia to have to deal with that on their border. Some of the more hawkish nations pressed to impose more sanctions on Russia anyhow, with Lithuania's foreign minister saying anything less would be a sign of weakness. Yet, there is an increasing recognition that the sanction war would hurt the EU as much, if not more, than it hurts Russia, and as the EU looks at its post-regime change prize in Ukraine, the staggering cost of a bailout for the country is making it look like less than a bargain. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. USA Today reports Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban's Fidesz party won parliamentary election Sunday and narrowly secured a new two-thirds majority, but gains by a far-right party were a cause for concern. With over 95% of the vote counted, the National Election Office said Fidesz had won 134 seats in the 199-seat legislature. Fidesz, a right-wing populist party, and its small ally, the Christian Democrats received 44.5% of the list votes, good for 37 seats, and also won 97 of the 106 individual constituencies. Every doubt and uncertainty has dissipated. We have won, Orban told cheering supporters gathered near the Danube River after securing a third term, adding, Hungary is a place where it is worth living, working, and starting a family. We have declared that we are not turning back. A coalition of left-wing groups was projected to have 37 seats, while the far-right Jobbik party will likely have 23. Fidesz and the Christian Democrats also won a two-thirds majority in the 2010 election, allowing them to write a new constitution and pass legislation unchallenged. Orban has sought another supermajority, so his government could continue to implement its policies unhindered. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. The New York Times reports, with the record pace at which the Obama administration has been deporting immigrants who are in the country illegally, the president has said the government is going after, quote, criminals, gangbangers, people who are hurting the community, not after students, not after folks who are just here because they're trying to figure out how to feed their families. End quote. But a New York Times analysis of internal government records shows that since President Barack Obama took office, two-thirds of the nearly two million deportation cases involve people who had committed minor infractions, including traffic violations, or had no criminal record at all. 20%, or about 394,000, of the cases involved people convicted of serious crimes, including drug-related offenses. Obama came to office promising comprehensive immigration reform, but lacking sufficient support. The administration took steps it portrayed as narrowing the focus of enforcement efforts on serious criminals. Yet, the records showed that the enforcement net actually grew, picking up more and more immigrants with minor or no criminal records. Interviews with current and former administration officials, as well as immigrant advocates, portray a president trying to keep his supporters in line, even as he sought to to show political opponents that he would be tough on people who had broken the law by entering the country illegally. Five years into his presidency, neither side is satisfied. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com.
And the FAA has issued a reminder that any plane can crash and kill you. Deputy FAA Administrator Serena Grant. This year there will be more flights than ever. Any one of them could blow up in the middle of the sky without warning. That's why we're asking all Americans to tell their families that they love them before taking off. The agency also released a list of important questions to ask yourself or your seatmate during your flight, including should the wing be doing that? What is that worrying noise? And do all planes shake this much? They're reminding passengers that even the smallest amount of turbulence could mean you're headed toward a sudden explosive death. While hurtling through the sky at unimaginable speeds in a steel coffin can feel like gambling with your life, the FAA says there are ways to regain the illusion of control. If you're worried about crashing, why not switch your flight at the last second? It might just save your life or kill you depending on which plane crashes. And for those who aren't flying this holiday, the FAA has reminded everyone that a plane could fall out of the sky right on top of you at any moment. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever you want. Just dial on in toll free here at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. In the very last hour, we had a gentleman call at the very end of the, the hour about a story that I actually happen to bring in tonight to discuss. We're going to jump into that one. It's about what is it? He was describing it as a range war. And Infowars.com is a uh, headline, Ruby Ridge-style standoff brewing as Bundy says he's prepared to be killed. This is a rancher uh, who is in a bit of a uh, spat with the Bureau of Land Management. In addition to that, apparently an update on the story today says there are federal snipers that are training guns on the family as we speak for filming cattle. Story starts uh, from yesterday's report where this is actually being syndicated over at the Free Thought Project, but originally from Infowars.com. A Ruby Ridge-style standoff is brewing in Nevada, where dozens of armed federal agents are closing in on cattle rancher Clive Bundy, or excuse me, Cliven Bundy, over claims that Bundy has allowed his cows to graze illegally on government land, endangering a protected species of tortoise. Vowing to take a stand for your liberty and freedom, Bundy says he's prepared to be killed as authorities surround a 600,000-acre section of public land as a result of Bundy violating a 1993 Bureau of Land Management ruling which changed grazing rights in order to protect the endangered desert tortoise. With all these rangers and all of this force that is out here, they only, they're only they only after one man right now. They're after Clive and Bundy. Whether they want to incarcerate me or whether they want to shoot me in the back, they're after me, he said. But that is not all that's at stake here. Your liberty and freedom is at stake, Bundy said. Bundy's refusal to recognize federal authority over the land under dispute and his failure to pay tens of thousands of dollars in grazing fees stems from his assertion that his family's history trumps the bureaucracy. He says, my forefathers have been up and down the Virgin Valley ever since 1877. All these rights I claim have been created through preemptive rights and beneficial use of the forage and water. I have been here longer. My rights are before the Bureau of Land Management even existed. Accusing the feds of seizing Nevada's sovereignty, Bundy says he's fought the battle legally through the media and is now gearing up to fight it physically. Armed agents are approaching a military-like staging area to prevent anyone, or excuse me, they're forming a military-like staging area to prevent anyone from approaching the area. Bundy asserts that his case is emblematic of how America has been transformed into a police state, labeling the government's actions pathetic. Hundreds of federal officers, uh, uh, aided by helicopters, low-flying aircraft, and hired cowboys, began rounding up Bundy's cattle on Saturday as Bundy accused them of trespassing, adding that the impact will only serve to raise beef prices for residents of Las Vegas, 80 miles away. Feds postponed a similar raid in 2012 over fears the action would spur violence, Bundy has drawn a lot of support from the local community, and protesters are heading to the area to demand authorities back off. However, as our caller mentioned, officials have created a taped-off First Amendment area where demonstrators can voice their concerns. A sign placed inside the area reads, Welcome to America, Wake Up, alongside a hammer and sickle logo. <laughs> Bundy told the Las Vegas Review-Journal the rights were created for us. 
I have the right to use the forage. I have water rights. I have access rights. I have range improvement rights. And I claim all the other rights that the citizens of Nevada have, whether it's to camp fish or to go off-road. Addressing the justification of seizing the cattle to protect a species of tortoise, Bundy stated, I'll never get it. If it weren't for our cattle, there'd be more brush fires out here. The tortoises eat the cow manure, too. It's filled with protein. Which is what I'm just wondering. What are you protecting them from? A stampede? I mean, what is a cow going to do to a turtle? Yeah, and how long have the cows been out there? You know, they've been out there for hundreds of years. Sure. This isn't a new thing. And before the the cows, there were horses. So, like he said, his family's been out there for generations. Since, what, 1870-something? Yeah. So I found another article about this, mm-hmm. and it's actually uh, more related to the arrest of Mr. Bundy's son. Yep, I've got one about But there's a well. quote from the Nevada Cattlemen's Association. Oh, boy. And this is very disturbing. Nevada Cattlemen's Association does not feel it is in our best interest to interfere in the process of adjudication in this matter. And in addition, NCA believes the matter is between Mr. Bundy and the federal government. NCA is sensitive and concerned how the Bundy cattle confiscation situation has evolved. This reminds me of the movie Lawless. Whenever uh, the uh, alcohol guys... The, the three brothers decided to go on on their own, and the whole community was like, "All right, look, you know the, the prohibitions are coming down on us. We've got to, we've got to, we got to pay our our tithes, mm-hmm. you know, so they'll leave us alone. You got to come in with us." And he's like, "No, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie down for these guys. You, need, you guys need to grow some, grow a pair." Well, that's not a surprising statement from the association. I mean, these guys are lobbyists, right? I mean, the the Cattlemen's Association, that's essentially a lot. Sounds like a lobbyist group to me. It's a business association where they beg for uh, special benefits from the government and they oppose any regulations that'll, you know, harm their farms, but if one of their members gets targeted, the, the other ones don't want to put their necks out. Mhm. They're they're trying to live by the book and do things by the book and uh, they, and they'll bend over and do whatever it is they're told. Even but if it, that it, even if that fist keeps clenching tighter and tighter, they're like, hey, we'll just yeah. you know we got to do what we got to do, we got to live, we got to survive. It, it just seems to me that if there's going to be an association for the rights of farmers, that they should stick together. Yeah, he's probably been paying dues all these and years. Not, you know, just sort of throw somebody under the bus. Well, I agree with you, especially considering he's likely a member of that association, or at least was in the past, and probably paid dues until they threw him under the bus. Mm -hmm. A lot of good that did him. Share share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. The standoff has echoes of the 1992 Ruby Ridge incident, during which Randy Weaver, as you may recall, accused of selling an ATF agent two illegal sawed-off shotguns, became embroiled in a tragic confrontation with the United States Marshals Service and the FBI, resulting in the death of Weaver's son, Sammy, his wife, Vicki, and Deputy U.S. Marshal William Francis Deegan. The story also brings back memories of New Hampshire couple Ed and Elaine Brown, who were involved in a nine-month standoff with armed law enforcement and feds as a result of their refusal to pay income tax. The Browns were later convicted of plotting to kill federal agents because of their refusal to surrender and were both given de facto life sentences. Uh, and then in a series of YouTube videos, I'll link to this story on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter here in a little bit, Clive and Bundy and his wife outline the background behind their decision to take a stand against the feds, arguing their fight is a constitutionally driven line in the sand to push back against the usurpation of big government. And they, uh, I'm sure they don't want to stand alone, but now it sounds like there's a perimeter being set up to try to keep any protesters out from coming and, and aiding them. Uh, we'll give you more about the free speech zones here in a little bit. Let's go to Scott listening in St. George, Utah to KZNU. Hey, Scott, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Um, um, I actually work with the niece of Bundy that you guys are talking about right now. Mm-hmm. So I, I put up the story on the Facebook page last night. But uh, Oh, thank you. I, just a couple just a couple points that she told me um, just to add to the story. I'm sure maybe you guys have gone over this, but uh, there's, they're setting up snipers right now. I know about mm-hmm. up in the Hills to watch everything going on. And also when they put up any sort of, when Bunny and his sons put up any sort of verbal disagreement with the federal agents, they just raided the place from what I heard. And they beat up all the sons and they scared the daughters into the basement and they just scared the whole place. So that there's no protest whatsoever. Like wait, they, wait, they okay, I'm, I'm confused. They raided the Bundy's residence, or they raided a rel- well, relative? They, well, 
where they were protesting, they raided and they beat up most of the people protesting, and they basically scared everybody out of wanting to protest now. Is there I've a video heard. of this? Um, I'm Yeah, I heard that some of them had their cell phones out and they were recording it, so you might be able to find some online. I'm not sure where it's at, at right now, but... If you there find, uh, if you okay. contact the uh, niece again and she she knows of any video, please submit that to the front page at freetalklive.com so our yeah, listeners can put on that. Um, they I would, might be like hold, they might be holding it out for legal purposes, but I'm sure it'll be up pretty soon. So yeah, this is horrible. Is this? I mean, you're out there in uh, St. George, Utah. Is this is this pretty big news out there? Um, there's a lot of ranchers here, so they're all talking about it and. There's a lot of, this has never been really a problem before. There's a lot of public land here that they use, so this is the first time it's really become a big confrontation like that. What's the word on the street? Are people saying that this is terrible, or are they on the government side? Um, most people are against it. Thanks, most Scott, for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. There's more on the way. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com, the monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc, and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment 
a radio program, the most personal of mediums that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Talk Live. Take control right here toll free at 855-450 free. Your comments are welcome on the range war, as it's being called, that is developing over in Nevada right now with a family that is making a stand. Uh, Clive and Bundy is the uh, guy behind a cattle uh, ranching operation. He is upset because the federal government has been cracking down on his uh, what he believes are his rights to use so-called public land for grazing purposes and other uh, cattle-related purposes. He says his family has been there longer than the Bureau of Land Management has even existed, and uh, he should be able to to, uh, to use his property. In fact, our caller pointed out before, it doesn't say it in the InfoWars piece, but this guy says he's been upgrading the property. He says the Bureau of Land Management charges thousands of dollars in fees every year, which he's refusing to pay. Uh, or you know, he had paid in the past, but has recently, or at some point, you know, maybe 20 years ago, it's been brewing for 20 years. Uh, he's been refusing to pay, and so now they're coming after him for that. He apparently has taken the money he saved by refusing to pay the fees and actually used that money to improve the land. So he's actually been improving this property, whereas the Bureau of Land Management just sits around and collects a check. And now they're bringing in federal agents, snipers even, to target protesters who are attempting to come into the area. We just had a caller a few moments ago tell us uh, that he knows the niece of this this gentleman, and she has said that apparently they did a raid recently on a house at which protesters had been gathered, and they uh, apparently beat some people up and really scared these guys. They, again, have men with guns out there, and they've got cowboys they've hired to come in, lasso up the some of the herd, and, and kidnap this man's cows. So it's a pretty scary situation going out there. Apparently, he's ready to die to protect his uh, his his rights. And so is this going to turn into another Waco? The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It's not sounding very good right now. You're welcome to share your thoughts with us. Now, if you care about freedom and you want a chance at achieving liberty in your lifetime, you can't live out in the middle of nowhere and have nobody around you. It's not going to work out well for this guy. This, this, a situation like this, where you're essentially isolated from anyone in the community, you have no community. There are people that want to come help this guy, but they don't live, there's nobody living next door to him. So they can't come out and, you know, nobody nearby can help. They have to travel in order to get here. And the feds already are there. They're setting up a perimeter. And they're making it so you can't go down the road to get to this guy's ranch or to get anywhere near this guy's ranch. Shut down several thousand square miles of federal land. Right. Now, I suppose if you've got the right kind of vehicle, you could off-road and you know, maybe cross the desert and maybe have a chance at getting there. But the average person who's you know, willing to hold a sign or do some sort of low-level protest like that, they you know, probably don't want to put their life on the line. But, of course, if you had end up going nearby this place you might be putting your life on the line knowing how the federal with, agents with act. snipers up in the hills you might just get popped yeah, absolutely knows? true yeah they could say they thought you were going for a gun and uh, they were scared for their lives and that they needed to shoot you so as much as i support this guy's right to graze on this land that he and his family have been grazing on for over a century for multiple generations i do support his rights this isn't going to end in his favor and that's because he's outmanned and he's outgunned and violence isn't going to solve this problem. So what do you do if you care about freedom? I mean, this guy says he's standing up for your liberty and freedom. He's right. He is. Thank goodness for people like him. 
But the problem is that the people like him are too few and far between. You've got this cattle association, a, a cattleman's association, that is refusing to stand behind one of their own. So not even the people who could understand and appreciate his situation the best, the other cattlemen, are coming to his aid. He can't get any help from, from anybody in the business. He's got some activists that are interested in helping out, but they're too far, they're too spread, they're too thin. Can't get If you don't have people in a physical geographic area that you can call on or that are available at a moment's notice to respond to a situation, you don't have a chance. And I'm not talking about from a perspective of violence. I'm just talking about, like, you know, if you want to occupy the property, they can't do that right now. You couldn't, you couldn't bring Occupy Nevada in here. The roads are blocked. There's men with guns that have set up a perimeter. So you have to get people who love liberty and who care about it and, and who are willing to stand up for it and put their lives on the line for it. You've got to get people who care about freedom together in the same place. And that's why the three of us are here tonight, not just to do Free Talk Live, but in general, we wouldn't know each other if it weren't for the Free State Project. Conan, you moved up from uh, Tennessee, and you, I think you were in Florida prior mm-hmm. to yeah. moving here, but originally from Tennessee. Daryl, you moved up from uh, Alabama and, and Texas. Moved up lived. from Texas, originally from Alabama. And I was originally in Florida, so three Southerners actually uh, moved to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. And the idea behind the Free State Project is that we know libertarians and liberty-minded people and voluntarists and anarchists. These are people who have great ideas— about freedom, but they're too spread thin. They're just we're all over the place, but we're nowhere enough. We're not concentrated enough in one place to really have any appreciable effect on changing the system, on civil disobedience, on anything. But when you move people together, as we've done here in New Hampshire, and we are continuing to do now with over 1,500 people who are here as part of the Free State Project, over 15,500 have signed up to make the move to New Hampshire. We've seen with just that first 1,500 tremendous uh, success compared to the entirety of the libertarian movement outside of New Hampshire. Libertarians don't get elected anywhere outside of New Hampshire, unless you're talking about soil and water conservation board members. I mean, libertarians getting elected, it's a joke. But in New Hampshire, as a libertarian, you can actually get elected, though generally you have to run as As a a Republican Republican or a a Democrat. Democrat. But regardless, it's something that happens here. And I was saying there was actually a candidate's training seminar yesterday. I was told that dozens of people showed up to this. Only about half of them were free staters. The other half were New Hampshire natives who've gotten energized by the Free State Project. And they are are grateful that free staters are here and and getting active. And they want to get active, too. We know here in Keene that a lot of the the heavy hitters are uh, natives. natives. Yeah. And they they get blamed as as free staters. And uh, little do you know, hey— they were born here, guys. Yeah, there was a newspaper article written uh, recently that mentioned Garrett Ian, who is a uh, Concord native. And he... Uh, Actually, he was technically born in New York, but grew up his entire life in Concord. Right, all of his conscious life, he, he lived in Concord. Yes. And uh, so he did some sort of lemonade protest at a farmer's market in Concord. And there was a newspaper article that reported him as a free stater. Mm-hmm. So... Um, Anyway, go to freestateproject.org. If you love freedom, you really have to take you have to take the uh, the time and the effort, and you have to do something more than just complain. You have to do something more than just cast a vote for uh, somebody in your area, because that's never going to get us anywhere. Unless there's some sort of huge explosion, uh, all of a sudden the ideas of liberty start sticking with the average person. Uh, it's not going to happen where you live. You've got to go to where the activists are. You've got to go to where the liberty-minded thinkers and doers are. And that's New Hampshire, and more thousands are on their way. So go to freestateproject.org and join us here because you can't make a stand alone. This guy, this Clive and Bundy, if they don't figure out a way to take him alive, they did with Ed and Elaine Brown, by the way. They did take those folks alive, and the way they did that was they, uh, you know, they had supporters coming in from the outside at that location, and so they made their made their agents like supporters, and the agents went in and essentially infiltrated the group of supporters. They brought in some pizzas, and they were about to have a pizza party, and that's when they made the arrest. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. 
And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. A report confirms that many Iraqis are still holding a petty grudge about the U.S. invasion. An advanced alien civilization discovers an uninhabitable planet. And a single woman has a Facebook profile picture with her sister. This is The Onion Week in Review. A groundbreaking study published Monday in the Journal of the American Medical Association confirmed that it is impossible to lose weight, no one has ever done it, and those who are trying should give up immediately. Researchers said that findings conclusively proved that shedding excess weight has never happened, changing your physical appearance is impossible, and that all sorts of exercise personal training regimens and diets will never, ever work. Well, our test results conclusively prove that if you're going to the gym to lose weight, you will fail. You can work out every day and eat nothing and you still wouldn't lose an ounce. Skinny people will stay skinny. Overweight people will be overweight. That's just how it is. In other news, an area man is outraged his private information is being collected by someone other than advertisers. And a crowd cheers as this 93-year-old up finally graduates from college. This is the Onion News Network. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up what you want right here, toll-free, at 855-450-FREE. Maybe you've got some thoughts about the so-called range war brewing out in Nevada where federal agents and goons hired cowboys are rustling up some cattle. They're stealing cattle from a man who has occupied a certain farm that his family's had for generations. Uh, he's been using the uh, the public, so-called public land for grazing purposes and you know, raising the cattle for generations and uh he about 20 years ago in the 1990s i think uh, was got pretty upset about the bureau of land management and how they were mismanaging the the property and he withheld some of the fees that they were demanding from him and has been allowing to, uh, to have his, allowing the cattle to graze there anyway and using the fees to upgrade the land 
rather than the B, uh, Bureau of Land Management just basically doing nothing with the money that uh, you know, except for paying their bureaucrats to sit around. And now you've got federal snipers that have been brought in. You've got uh, agents surrounding the property, roads being shut down, people being prevented from coming near this man's house, presumably because they're going to make a move on him. And he's, uh, he says he's willing to make a stand, apparently. We'll uh, give you an update on the story here in a moment. Also, I want to encourage you to go to freeross.org. It's not just this guy in the desert who's under attack by the federal government. There's plenty of people who've had their rights trampled. One of them is Ross Ulbricht. He is the man who's accused of running the operation known as the Silk Road. Silk Road is a black market underground marketplace where you can purchase drugs, you could purchase uh, fake identification, you could purchase all kinds of interesting things on the Silk Road. The feds took out the site back in October of last year. At that time, they arrested Ross Ulbricht and accused him of being the mastermind behind the site. Now, whether he was or he was not, to me, is immaterial. If he was, he was a hero because the Silk Road did amazing things for making the black market a safer place, a better place for both buyers and sellers. Um, and if he wasn't behind the black the black market website, then he's a man who's been wrongfully accused. And either way, his family needs help uh, with paying for the attorney's fees in this case. It's a very important case. For those of you who think the war on drugs is a really terrible idea and you want to see it end, you can help this case out. And uh, this is going to be a very important case because it's the first case in regards to drugs and purchasing things online through the Silk Road, through, uh, through Tor, the anonymizing system, through using Bitcoin, which the site was used uh, bitcoin to buy and sell things so very important uh, case and uh, please go to freeross.org you can learn about how you can help out there with paypal bitcoin or just cut a check at freeross.org again freeross.org and of course as we learn more about the Ulbricht case we will bring you the updates here on free talk live now, uh, back to the story in Nevada, there's more from InfoWars and a story that updated today about the snipers that have been brought in and the arrest that has been made. The man himself, uh, the owner of the property, Mr. Bundy, Cliven Bundy, he's still, uh, he's still a free man, but his son has been arrested. Federal snipers with the Bureau of Land Management trained guns on members of a family yesterday as they dared to stop and take video footage of cattle outside the bounds of a designated First Amendment area before arresting one of the men for noncompliance. The cattle were being rounded up by the Bureau of Land Management officers as part of a crackdown on Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy, who's refused to pay grazing fees demanded by the feds as a result of a reclassification of 600,000 acres of federal land in northeastern Clark County, which Bundy claims has been in his family for generations. Some feared the dispute could turn into a Ruby Ridge-style violent standoff because Bundy said he's prepared to become a martyr for what he perceives as a constitutional stance against tyranny. And I... Even though I don't support violence as a solution, I understand the frustration, and I understand where this guy's coming from. I mean, essentially, this is his freedom to live his life and to run his business in the way that he thinks is best. It's been completely stripped from him. They are trying to destroy his way of life and his family's traditions that go back for generations. And if, it's, if what you do with your life is so important to you, that uh, you know the stripping of it is going to completely change how you exist. Then why continue existing at that point? If his if his existence surra- is surrounded by the idea of being a rancher in Nevada and doing this particular task, and they're now threatening to take all of that away from him, or yeah, we'll let you keep doing it so long as you pony up all this money, so we can just you know piss it away on our bureaucrats. You got to give us our cut. Yeah, yep. and I can totally understand why. Look, this guy's at the end of his life. He's not a young man. He's lived a long life, and he's just he's pissed. And I can understand why he's willing to make a stand and put his life on the line because they're th- they're th- threatening to take his life away. But I mean, you said you mentioned it. He's an older man, and you know he doesn't have much to lose. But it looks like his family is you know right on board. It looks like they're following in his footsteps, and they don't have any problem. The first person arrested, his mm-hmm. son, his own son. They don't have any problem at all standing up for what their father believes. And, uh, they, I mean, they're in the right. 
Um, Absolutely. It's just, it's just horrible the way this is going down, that you have to, people have to be martyrs in order to you know, wake the rest of the... And, and, in order and, to get and, attention. Exactly. But the sad thing is, if you look at this, and then you look at the other situations that it mentioned in the article, the uh, Randy Weaver and the Browns, it seemed as though they were martyrs for nothing. Not that what they did wasn't very important and that they weren't standing up for their rights, but there wasn't this massive spark of people then standing up for their rights in response to these people being made martyrs. For example, I, you know, who knows Ruby Ridge besides activists? I mean, if you if you walk out in the streets, I mean, people don't even know who the damn vice president is. I mean, yeah, little, right. Little sure. But people would probably remember Ruby Ridge... Just like if you said Waco, people are going to remember, oh, that's where all of those people... Crazy people. Crazy people shot the ATF. Well, they only shot at ATF agents after they were fired on first. Right. So they know the story wrong. Yes, well, they know the story wrong. The situation in Ruby Ridge, nobody really knows what happened because there's the... You know, government side, the Weaver side, and then what really happened. And they were isolated, just like Ian was, you know, brought up in the first, you know, segment. And mm-hmm. I've seen documentaries on it, and the Weavers believe that they were fired upon first. The feds claim that they were fired upon first. So both sides are claiming self defense in this situation. Well, to come back to your point, Daryl, about you know these people martyred themselves or were martyred and nothing came out of it it's kind of what you're saying that there that, there wasn't this spark of you know just a massive uprising about, i don't of know outrage. i don't think they expected that i don't think that it's realistic to expect that i don't think this cattle rancher thinks that there's going to be a spark of of outrage if he goes up in flames here with the feds surrounding him and shooting his family to death or burning the farm down or whatever their horrible thing they're going to end up doing to these folks um, you know, maybe it'll end up without a shot like the Ed and Elaine Brown situation. But, you know, whatever happens, um, I don't think it's realistic for anyone to expect that this is going to that their actions are going to spark some sort of revolution or some kind of uh, activist movement or whatever. If that were to, if that were to be the case, it would have happened beforehand. Right. Like, oh, wow, these people well, are standing up. Well, let's stand up, too. Let's do this thing. You well, know, as isolated as this guy is, he does have neighbors and and yep. a lot of them are ranchers. So we're talking about a different class of, you know, uh, of uh, person here. These are these are rough. These are rough characters. Well, there are you know, always the, crew, a crew of people who are dedicated enough to come out. So there are the people who are coming out. They're trying to, you know, come to this guy's house. But the, of course, the feds have already blocked the roads. Mm-hmm. How many people are they are? I don't know. At the Ed and Elaine, Ed and Elaine Brown situation that was developing as we moved up here to New Hampshire, Mark and myself back in 2006. We went up to the Ed and Elaine Brown property, and they actually uh, visited there twice. Uh, once we kind of went up and we got a tour of his house, uh, and there were people who were in there who he hadn't known prior to this who had come up to show their support for him. And unfortunately, Ed was kind of crazy. Uh, you know, he believed uh, the Illuminati was after him, and he had all these conspiracy theories that uh, was going on. So that might have hindered them to some extent in getting help. But at the same time, there was there were people who were coming up and literally camping out at his house. They brought in a bunch of weapons and things like that. And in fact, some people ended up getting arrested and charged with federal uh, weapons uh, charges mm-hmm. because of them assisting them in the situation. Uh, but we actually went there and kind of toured around and met these folks. His wife was super, super nice, really nice lady. He was nice, but kind of crazy. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that here in a few moments. 855 450 free, and then more about the snipers in Nevada. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, Yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. 
You gotta see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. I'm a very bad man, and I'm outside your house. I see you've got an alarm. Outstanding. Because houses with alarms always have the coolest stuff. Unless you've got a door devil reinforcing your door frame. I'll kick your fancy door just like any other door. And I'll be gone before the police even get the call. Don't worry, I'll try not to make a mess. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want here, toll free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we've also got Skype. I don't think I've mentioned that yet tonight. You can do, uh, dial in on Skype. Our Skype, uh, Skype username is lrn.fm. You do need to send a contact request first. We'll be approving that very shortly, just after you send it, usually. And then it'll be easy for you to contact us on Skype for that from that point on. So go to uh, use username lrn.fm to reach us on Skype. The us tonight includes me, Ian. And Conan. And Daryl. Conan is here courtesy of Black Sheep Rising. Daryl here courtesy of fpp.cc. What is it, Daryl? fpp.cc is the main website for free press publications. That's where you will find my weekly commentary in both written and spoken form all of the spoken word stuff uh newscast podcast are at fppradio.com there's more written content at fpp.cc including a monthly newspaper that i give away for free you can download the pdf feel free to take it to a printer in your area get copies printed up and distribute 
So we've been talking about, that's FPP.cc. Yes. We've been talking about the crackdown on a rancher in Nevada. Uh, his name is Cliven Bundy and his family. His son was actually just arrested. We're going to get into some more details about that. They've set up First Amendment zones in the area to corral protesters. They've blocked off roads, from what I understand. They're preventing people from trying to reach this this man's ranch and show him physical support in real life. Because that's what you were talking about a moment ago, Daryl, was the idea that you know, people in the past, like the uh, the Browns, Ed and Elaine Brown in New Hampshire, who were arrested for not paying federal income tax, and they're still in prison, by the way. Yes. Uh, because of that, not because necessarily the income tax, but because they refused to just kind of go along willingly, and they armed up, and so they were charged with weapons-related charges and uh, and things like that. Plus, some of the people who had come to support the Browns were also rounded up and charged with uh, federal crimes, and are now in prison for that as well. So. Look, violence is not the solution to these situations. I am firmly in the in the corner of peace. Um, you know, not just because it's it's better for your health, but also because you end up looking like a crazy lunatic when you're the lone gunman or whatever out in the middle of nowhere. You're gonna put up a fight against the feds or the local cops or whoever it is that uh, is is opposing your freedoms. Um, it, almost always, the the news media, the stories we're reading are from Infowars.com, which are very in, much in favor of the family here. I don't know what the mainstream media's viewpoint is on this particular. Uh, subject, but you can imagine that the mainstream media is going to be more favorable towards the federal government's yeah. perspective. Peace and numbers. Peace and numbers. Exactly the point. Now, Daryl, you had said that uh, you know these people did not spark any kind of revolution with their actions. There was it seems like their martyrdom was for nothing essentially, and their their resistance uh, amounted to nothing. And it's it's true. I mean, ultimately, it hasn't. They haven't done much. There was some level of uh, bustling activity around each event. Like there are activists at this Nevada site that want to get out there and they want to help. They're being flummoxed by the fact that the place is so large and the feds have blocked off roads. In the case of Ed and Elaine Brown, they weren't able to really stop people from going to the property until later on when things got, when they really amped up their presence. Right. So there were several months where Ed and Elaine were, they did have guests coming in. I actually toured their home. Uh, a number of us went up there from the southern part of New Hampshire and kind of checked it out, met the family. And uh, and then later on, uh, Lauren Canario, actually, who's a Free State Project participant, was arrested attempting to walk towards, just walk down the road uh, towards their house. So they did crack down further towards the end of things. They, I think they ended up letting Lauren go after processing her, and they never charged her with anything. They just wanted to get her out of the area. Um, but uh, Ed and Elaine Brown had people come and help them. They got uh, in trouble as well. And so... There was actually a party that Ed and Elaine Brown threw. That's what I wanted to mention. They 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 brought in people, including Randy Weaver from the Ruby Ridge. Uh, Randy Weaver came out to this party that Ed and Elaine Brown threw with actually, which was sponsored by uh, G- Genesis Communications Network. Ted, <laughs> this was the first place I met Ted Anderson from Midas Resources and uh, GCN. Was he was at this party. Uh, which was pretty interesting. I didn't, you know, that was an, an amazing kind of experience. So that was cool. I mean, there were a lot of people that came out for that, and they, you know, the feds flew a black helicopter over and hovered over the party for a while. Uh, I, I wasn't trying to imply that nobody came out. Yeah. But with like the civil rights movement and the anti-war demonstrations of the late '60s, early '70s, there were a couple of events that sort of sparked the movement. Mm-hmm. And really got people energized about to do either, more. To do more, yeah. But, but either there, but with civil was... rights or anti-war, and there's not really been, you know, mass tax evasion protests. But there yeah. were so many incidents during the civil rights movement that that you only remember it unless you were there, that aren't written down anywhere. And so, yeah, there were those those key moments that we actually read about in history books now and that people always remember because you were always, they're always talking about them. But there were so many incidents. So, so the key difference, I think, is we just need to really ramp up the number of incidents that are taking place for with you know people who are def- trying to defend their their property and their resources from the man who uh, who only does one thing well, and that is take take it takes it away. Well, people are also notoriously comfortable and uh, apathetic these days as well, and I would argue maybe more so than in the past. 
Uh, it's very, very comfortable living that we have. We've got all kinds of wonderful appliances and things to keep us busy and distracted and entertained. You get mm -hmm. your bread and your circuses, uh, your electronic devices, television, internet, handheld devices, video games. There's all kinds of things for people to busy themselves with and not pay attention to what's going on around them. And, and even if they do see a story like this, then it's scary. You know, who the hell wants to go up against the federal government with a bunch of snipers? I mean, that's a scary situation. Well, may maybe if the, pe the price of beef goes up $2 a pound, you know, after an incident like this, maybe people will wake up to the idea. Maybe they just won't even realize why it actually went up. No, they'll just say, we need higher pay because beef is now yeah. more expensive. Now, no, we need government regulation to uh, lower the prices of beef and, and control these prices. Oh, right. Yeah, we, we need price controls because the federal government instituted this regulation that added $87,000 a year in expenses to a brewer, right, causing your beer to go up, plus it's adding cost to your farmers causing everything farm related to go up but yep price controls that'll fix it well, right, right is, classic government fixing a problem that it started from the beginning it's this is too little too late what's happening now in nevada it's not going to spark anything because there's no and maybe i'll be wrong but i'd love to be wrong about this but it's too little too late in that this this guy's not going to survive unless you know unless the feds just happen to not take him without or just happen to take him without violence he's just going to go down in flames and that's going to be the end of that and what else is going to happen the other ranchers aren't willing to stand up the cattlemen's associations basically thrown this guy under the bus you know so are the other cattlemen going to stand up for their rights at this point probably not you know they don't want to lose their business they don't want to have their family arrested uh, so we've got to have something happen before things like this occur where we can like we were saying before the free state project if you love liberty get people together now and then you've got people physically in the same area when that happens it makes it more difficult for the police and the government to do something if you're here in new hampshire if you're in a populated area if you live in the woods your mileage may vary but if you live in manchester or Keene, maybe the seacoast you can contact uh there's communications methods that we have you get pulled over you can send a message to the port 411 system and that goes out to hundreds of recipients who could then respond to that and show up at, a, at you know just something simple like a police pullover, something routine like that. I've seen five to eight activists roll out within five minutes of a call coming out to where they arrive on the scene before the officers even walk back to the car to go process the license. Yep, and you know what? They and they expect us because they at least see, in Keen they do. Yeah, because they see it happen all the time, and you know, and you know, we're getting we're getting traction. Right. They, they, they leave us alone. And so how would New Hampshire be different? You know, you take a situation like uh, Watertown, Massachusetts last year with the Boston bombing where they went house to house and they ordered people to leave their homes and they went in and they searched house to house at gunpoint, searching people's homes. That's a That was a horribly scary police state. Like, that's police state to the max, yes. what happened in Watertown, Massachusetts. And I just found myself wondering... What would be different if they tried the same thing in New Hampshire? Now, certainly. What, let, let me ask this question. What would have happened if a dozen activists would have stood in the middle of the street to prevent the Bearcats from rolling down? Disorderly conduct arrests. All right. What if it was just standing on our porches and not letting them into the home? That's what I would like to know. Because everybody ultimately consented when they had a gun pointed uh, pointed at them. Uh, but nobody even pulled out their... I mean, hardly anyone even pulled out a video camera. Like, even if you were going to reluctantly allow men with guns to come into your home, otherwise they shoot you, at least pull out the video camera and, ref, you know, get the confrontation on tape. Nobody got it except for, like, some guy from a window These halfway across the street. These people were cheering. They were cheering them at the end of the night. Yeah, there's more coming up here in moments. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Hour 3 next. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. 
if he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen with your Liberty Beat for Monday, April 7th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,299, silver opened at $19.81, and Bitcoin is trading at $459.40. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem. Operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush. Online, SovereignBTC.com. Support also comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy at 512-343-6494 or apply online at calldorothy.com and MLS 216624. And support also comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to mymagicmud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's mymagicmud.com. In the news, on Friday, U.S. District Judge Rosemary Collier dismissed a lawsuit against the Obama administration for the 2011 deaths of three United States citizens, including a 16-year-old boy. Last July, Judge Collier repeatedly questioned the Obama administration's authority and the constitutionality of extrajudicial killings. However, on Friday, Judge Collier stated that allowing the lawsuit to go forth under the circumstances of the case would impermissibly draw into the court the heart of executive and military planning and deliberation. The Associated Press has revealed a plan by the United States government and various agencies to create a Cuban Twitter that would use cell phone text messages to bypass Cuba's restrictions on the flow of information and stir unrest. The project, called Zun Zunio, involved a key contact in Cuba's state-owned cell phone company, a Cuban engineer in Spain, and the U.S. Agency for International Development. The engineer gave USAID access to thousands of Cuban citizens' cell phone numbers in the hopes that U.S. officials could directly communicate messages to the Cuban citizens. On Friday, the worldwide wave of action began in cities around the world. Counted as reoccupying or an American spring, it will run from the date of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination until Independence Day of 2014. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering pro-pure water filtration. It's the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, bravenewbookstore.com. Support comes from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin. Online, massappealinc.com. And support comes from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, April 7th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The IRS paid millions of dollars to informants who turned in 2013 tax evaders. According to Russia Today, that includes friends and family members who took the cash to serve as whistleblowers for the IRS. According to the Associated Press, the annual report provided to Congress details a total of 122 awards, totaling $53 million. The IRS collected $367 million by paying the awards to the informants. Edward Snowden is being awarded the Rittenhauer Prize for truth-telling. 
along with filmmaker and journalist Laura Poitras, who aided the whistleblower in disclosing numerous documents about government surveillance. Russia Today reports the annual accolade honors acts of truth-telling that protect the public interest, promote social justice, or illuminate a more just vision of society. It's the 10th year the prize has been presented. A water cannon and pepper spray were used Friday by Belgian police after labor union protests erupted. The demonstration was held to demand a better deal for Europe's working men and women. The Associated Press reports the demonstration also sent the U.S. Embassy into a lockdown for the first time in recent memory. The protests were called by the European Trade Union Confederation to oppose austerity measures implemented across the 28-country European Union. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time, and sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online, affordablesound.com, or call them up at 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, April 7, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Police in Lehman, Michigan, describe a local student's recently foiled plans to commit a deadly school shooting as, quote, embarrassingly bad. Authorities apprehended 17-year-old Trent Bayer Thursday after finding him in an empty hallway struggling to load a pathetically small caliber pistol while simultaneously attempting to unfold an inaccurate map of the school. Lehman Police Chief Ethan Holman elaborated several ways Bayer's strategy could have been more effective, including setting off a homemade explosive in the teacher's lounge, executing popular students first, and at the very least, purchasing some military fatigues. You're not going to intimidate anyone by wearing a tucked in button down shirt uh, and uh, pleated trousers. In other news, a jar of change on a dresser is sadly factoring into a number of financial decisions. A teen zebra doesn't give a shit how much you honk, it's not getting out of the road. And dad's new 20 year old Thai boyfriend really sucks at categories. And don't forget to never ever drink Pepsi Cola, whose dipshit marketing team backed out of a full page ad buy at the last minute. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. Free Talk Live, you can bring up whatever you want right here. Toll free number 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. As we launch here into the third hour of the program, we were talking in the last hour in detail about uh, the Nevada situation that is currently brewing involving a, a rancher who has had his family on a certain plot of uh, land for generations, going back to the 1800s. And uh, the Bureau of Land Management, which is a federal government bureaucracy that claims dominion over swaths of uh, swaths, no swaths of land. <laughs> the swarts. Use the swarts, Lone Star. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a there's quite a, a situation, a conflict that's possibly about to happen out there. Federal government snipers have been moved in. There are uh, men on the ground who are preventing people who might want to come help these folks. Protesters. Uh, from reaching the area. They're setting up so-called free speech zones. They're threatening people who are outside of those free speech zones. They uh, actually arrested the son of the rancher. We were just going to get in to talking about that. You can share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. I'm actually going to go to an unscreened call, though, to start this hour out. You're on Free Talk Live, caller. Who's this? Hey, it's Jay Noon. Oh, hey, you know what? I actually did screen your call. I just based on who it was. <laughs> hey, Jay. Uh, you got arrested this weekend, didn't you? Yeah, so Friday night I was at a horse auction, and I drove home at the perfect hour. Um, right before all the bars closed, it was like one, quarter after one, mm -hmm. and uh, I was the only guy in the road. And this is uh, in Springfield, Mass. I must have passed nine, ten state troopers just like hanging out on the side of the road or like every half a mile. And um, so all of a sudden one of them decides to follow me. So. Uh, and I, I, I called Pork 411. I got it recorded. I haven't re retrieved the recording yet. And so he pulls me over, and he goes, what's your name? Uh, I go, what's the problem? Is there, was there an emergency? What's going on? 
He's like, chill out. What's your name? Chill out. What's your name? And I'm just sitting there, you know? <laughs> and so I said, well, I want to let, I was wearing a cop block shirt, just a cop block hoodie. And it says, I record cops. So he goes, so I said, well, I, I want to let you know you're being recorded. What is your name? She said, well, uh, this is my mother calls me Joseph or something like that. It's Joseph Francis. She goes, are you Joseph Francis Noon? I says, no, no, I'm not. I'm not that, that, that entity. That's a, that's a dead person on a birth certificate. So hold on. This guy knew who you were without getting an ID from you. No, he well, said, my yeah. mother calls me this. Right. But no, he, he pulled me over. Yeah, but you didn't give him your, the full legal name, did you? No, no, no. So how would he have known what name. your middle name was? I gotta tell you that. Okay. So I said, I go, you know, it's kind of interesting. You, you, uh, you seem to just pin, pick me right out. So I, I go, why did you pull me over? He goes, oh, I got a call on, and he called it like a some weird like thing, and it's like an all broadcast to to like state and local police in that area. All and points I, bulletin: Jay Noon is on the roads, driving uh, home. Yeah, pretty Look much. Out and beware. They, almost, almost exactly. Uh, it, it said there's a man, or it said there's a, a black Dodge pickup truck going north on 91 uh, that's come back to the to the registered owner being having a warrant and having a suspended license. Hmm. And he goes, and you drove right by me, is what he said when it came through. Uh-huh. Now, the first time I ever got a cop to admit to that. So... Anyways, he gets me out of I go, am I free to go? What's going on? Who do I injure? And he basically pulls me out of the car or out of the truck, and he's, like, yelling at me to chill out. <laughs> so, Project calm Monday. down, sir. Yeah. Calm down. So then he's, he, as he gets me out of the truck, he sees, he's, so he, he, he has me go in front of him, and I, you know, I tell him, I says, well, since you are carrying instruments of death and torture on your side, I guess I have to do what you tell me or you'll kill me. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he goes, oh, what's this? Badges don't grant extra rights stuff. And then he sees, oh, you're a cop locker. All right, he gets on the radio. We got a sovereign citizen here. He's a cop locker. And he's <laughs> like, this guy's like really animated and intense. Where, where did he and, see the badges don't grant extra rights? Are you wearing a shirt or mm-hmm. did you have the cop lock yeah. badge? No, I was wearing a hoodie. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That says it on the back as he's, you know, walking me towards his cruiser. So, there's like already, like, and I just see, like, just all these flashing blue lights just coming down the road. You know, whole Calvary's coming now. Oh, wow. And, and I'm like, you know, I'm a, I'm, like, I'm a peaceful guy. I'm not, I don't hurt people. So, what's the problem here? Look at all this money you guys are spending. So, this is costing the taxpayer thousands of dollars now. I'm just giving them a ton of crap, you know? Yeah. That's what I like to do with cops. And, uh, so, anyways, they're 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 like picking on me, like 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 I'm the new kid at the school, and there's like eight of these guys, and they're like, "Them cop blockers are a bunch of douchebags." Oh, I don't know if I should have said that. Or no, it's fine. Bags, and they're and they're this and they're that, and I'm and I'm like, ah, I go, actually, they're great guys. Um, he's like, he's like that one a judge put him in jail for ninety days for. Uh, for wiretapping and, and you're wiretapping. You said you're recording and, and so I brought up Glick decision. Uh-huh. And they just started laughing. <laughs> That's just what charged me wiretapping, whatever, you know? And so they're like they're just giving me a hard time about sovereign citizen. I said, Listen, I'm I'm not a citizen. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. And so anyways Yeah, prove I'm a citizen. Story, if you th- if you're if and- you're gonna claim I'm a citizen, uh, you're gonna have to prove it. I also think that it's interesting that they brought up the sovereign citizen with Jay, because if you watch the one video of Pete in, I believe it was San Francisco, Mm -hmm. they said the same thing to him. Oh, so are you one of these uh, sovereign citizen people? Mm. Hmm. So somehow they're getting some kind of message oh, yeah. from someone. Oh, no. F- the feds have put out that information. That cop blockers are sovereign citizens. They, they probably have training day where they all get together and they have a little chit-chat where who's 
you know, this is you might you might encounter one of these guys, and they absolutely have done this with the so-called sovereign citizen movement. The federal government has put out notices to police, state police, and local police departments, informing them of this sovereign citizen movement, right. and they don't believe in the law, and they don't believe in rights or whatever. You know, they just you know they're all violent. They're gonna they're armed and dangerous, and if anybody says anything about the Constitution, they're probably a sovereign citizen, or anybody that says anything about rights probably is a sovereign citizen. Citizen. And, if, and so what they're doing is they're trying to make it look like people who know about their rights and who are willing to exercise their rights are a member of a group of people that has had a handful of folks, at most, engage in violence. Now, of course, the sovereign citizen movement is just rife with contradiction, including right in the name. How yes. can you be a sovereign and a citizen at the same time? Uh, and- a sovereign is a king, and a citizen is a subject. Mm-hmm. So it's ridiculous. But if you just file this paperwork with the state government then it puts them on notice that you're no longer subject to their laws. But occasionally they change the form, so you have to refile every couple of years. And I'm sure they're also All showing right. the, the Canadian family who actually gunned down the, the cops that stopped them. Am I right? Were they Canadians, the sovereign sovereign citizens? I don't Ooh, know I don't if they know. were Canadians not or sure not. About that. You're talking about the what happened here in the U.S.? Mm-hmm. I don't know if they were Canadian or not. But either way, that is one of the things they cite, is that a couple of so-called sovereign citizens had shot some cops. So every one of them is a violent and dangerous person. So, Jay, go ahead with your story. All right, that's what I want to get into. This paperwork to make you free. Well, as, I, as we've talked before, I've been working on this for years and trying to file things and stuff. So I, I did a claim of my real estate, which is the all capital letters name, well, which is a property you put the all capital letters name on, which is a, um, the specimen of your afterbirth that they actually take that's left behind. Uh, I, it would take hours to explain that. That's all I really want to say about that. So anyways, I did this paperwork at, uh, about three weeks ago at the Secretary of State's office claiming my, my DNA afterbirth that they put the, the, the trust name on. Um, Cystic Uvi Trust is actually what it, what it really is. So um, when the um, bail clerk comes to bail me out, she asked me if I'm Joseph Francis Boone. And I says, no, I'm not. I'm not that dead entity. Is this the That's next the day, or is this you just got well, arrested and they took you to the police station? That was like six hours later. So All right, stand by. Stand by. Stand by. I'm going to come back to you here in yep. a moment. We'll uh, get the rest of your story. Because he said to me before the show... Uh, online that uh, they dropped the charges. So we'll find out why in moments. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com, constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. Freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want here toll free. 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we've got Skype as well. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Send a contact request. It will be approved before you call. Uh, so, again, Skype, at us, uh, Skype us at username lrn.fm. If you are a coffee drinker, you really need to check out BuzzBox Coffee. And there's uh, two main reasons. One, it's great coffee. It's 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica, shade grown. This is a great product. But also, there's a lot of good coffee out there. Also, BuzzBox Coffee is competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they do something that the other coffee producers just aren't doing. They have set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their coffee co-op. In addition to that, they're, uh, they're doing microloans in concert with World Vision, and we can actually help fund those microloans. When Free Talk Live listeners like you, who love coffee, start drinking BuzzBox coffee, we can get a 1,000 listeners to order their coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com. That'll allow us to finance 100 microloans. It's basically every 10 listeners, they can fund one microloan to uh, people around the world living in difficult uh, living situations that can help them start their own businesses and make a better life for themselves. You can start right now with BuzzBox Coffee and get your first pound for free. All you have to do is cover the cost of shipping, and you can cancel your subscription at any time. It's an auto-ship program, so you get on uh, the amount of time, set the amount of time that's appropriate for you. How long does it take you to go through a pound? If it's two weeks, if it's six weeks, whatever, you just set the, the delivery appropriate to your consumption habits. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Get your free pound tonight. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Again, you just pay the cost of shipping. The pound itself will cost you nothing. So, uh, we'll continue here, our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. There's a little more to say about the Nevada rancher standoff with the federal government. We'll come back to that story when we get a chance. We've got Jay Noon on the line right now. Now, long-time listeners know Jay Noon has uh, has called in every now and then. He is a, a participant in the Free State Project. However, he has yet to make the move to New Hampshire. He's still living in Massachusetts. And Jay has some interesting theories uh, now, whether or not the theories actually work is another question. However, 
there have been a lot of people over the years who've called Free Talk Live with legal theories about how to get out of X, Y, or Z. You know, not how to free yourself from this insane system uh, using some sort of magic words or paperwork or something like that. And to Jay's credit. Jay's one of the only people that actually calls and and not only has theories, but actually attempts to put them into effect. So a lot of people call and they talk about their theories, and then you ask them the question, well, have you ever actually tried this? When's the last time you were in court? Uh, about 22 years ago. Yeah. Before I ever heard any of this stuff. Yeah, exactly. Jay Noon, on the other hand, has been arrested multiple times and uh, and really backs up his uh, his beliefs with with words and actions. Now, Jay, you were arrested uh, this weekend while driving. You uh, do not have a government driver's license. Um, you I, is the car registered that you were driving? Yeah, it's registered to my my dead birth certificate name. Yeah. Okay, so they weren't <laughs> able to. Were they able to snatch your car from you then? I guess they were because they arrested you, yeah. right? Yeah. They actually the guy who towed it. Um, I'm friends with him. So, so did he, did he tow he it to your house? Me. No, he towed it to his yard because he doesn't really know where my house is. I but, see. Uh, and I just went and picked it up the next day. No he charge. Just, cool. <laughs> Go get him, boy, is what he said, the old timer. Right on. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so okay, so you were telling us something about you got arrested for, was it what was the charge, by the way? You, they, you said there was a warrant? Yeah, there was a warrant at a greenfield that I'm going to go up there tomorrow and raise a little hell. Um, and... Uh, it's for not paying a fine of uh, $150, and uh, I was denied a, a trial by jury for this particular charge of driving without a license because the judge explicitly stated, you can't go to jail for this. You cannot be incarcerated. You do not get a jury trial. Guess what? I got incarcerated, and I wasn't convicted by a j- judgment of my peers. Mm-hmm. So that's a blatant violation of his oath of office, which... I'm actually going to go tomorrow, and I'm going to put a claim in on the um, court's, the judge's insurance on his bond. Just like if I was to back into your car in a parking lot, and and uh, you would put a claim on my insurance. Well, maybe you wouldn't, but somebody would claim me, put a claim in on my insurance for damages. Well, this is what I'm going to do with the judge, and this is this is what I threatened to do in court today, which which just got got me um, in a pretty exciting uh, place. So. So what were they charging um, I, you with? So besides the warrant uh, for the unpaid fine, what was the other charge? Did they charge you with driving without a license? That's what it was. Well, the RMV says I have a suspended license. Okay. Which I've never even had a So driving license. while license suspended then. Right. Operating after suspension, mm-hmm. um, which only applies to persons operating motor vehicles, which I'm not a person and that's not a motor vehicle, but... Uh, I might not have time to get into Good luck that. convincing them of that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, well, I talk about it today in court but all right the big thing i did in court today is as soon as what they do is so your last name your surname is essentially your slave name and this is why a lot of people have changed their names to such as to you know joe freeman mm-hmm. demo freeman ian freeman uh and so the, your your surname this was all actually done by prince william the second he went around a, 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 uh, and got surnames on all the families so they were easier to tax. It was um, a big thing that, uh, you know, very few people uh, understand. So anyways, I don't go by Joseph Francis Noon in the legalese world. Uh, the only reason I go by Jay Noon is just because I'm commonly known as Jay Noon to everybody. Uh, so I tell him Joseph Francis, and that's the name my parents gave me. So... Anyways, when they called Joseph, they called Joseph Noon at the arraignment this morning. Mm-hmm. So I walk up to, right up to the gate. I don't, now, now, wait a I minute. Were you, ba- you were bonded out prior to this? Yeah, actually, my girlfriend came over and uh, bailed me out, okay. um, you know, uh, Saturday morning. Okay, so, so you come in for the arraignment. I, Go ahead. I, I walk up to the bar. Everybody knows that that's that ship's railing that's on there uh, in the courtroom. Uh, some courtrooms actually don't have it. So I walk up to the bar, and I say, uh, I want to verify, or I want to uh, state for the record that I am not Joseph Noon. I am not that name on your paper. That name on your paper is a dead entity. And the bailiffs are telling me while I'm saying this, you have to approach the microphone. You you have to walk up here, walk with you on six feet. 
But a judge says, no, he can stay there, which um, usually that's about the time that I'm getting dragged into the dragged off into a cell right then and there. <laughs> so, so but I, this is the first time I ever went wet just like this. The, the judge goes, who are you? I said, I am Joseph Francis. And he says, well, what is your interest with, with uh, this Joseph F. Noon net? And I said, that is... Um, I said there has been a mistake, or I said I'm, I'm a third party of interest to Joseph F. Noon. There has been a mistake. Joseph F. Noon is a dead entity that has been dead for over 34 years. And what people don't understand is that piece of that piece of placenta they take, uh, you know, after you're born, that's what they give you all capital letters name to. Well, that's an interesting theory, Jay, but I want to find out the rest of your story. So hang on. We're going to get back to that here in moments because apparently you were able to walk out of that courtroom today, and uh, we'll we'll see. 855-450-FREE, that's the toll-free number. You can take control of the airwaves here and tell your story. Bring up whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. 
Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. We've also got a website. You can go to freetalklive.com. And you can get interactive there. You can actually create the content there, freetalklive.com. We've got it tied in with the Reddit system. We have our own subreddit for Free Talk Live. And you can submit content right there to the front page of the website and vote it up if you like what you see there or vote down if you don't like what you see. Uh, so go there and create the content on the front page, which we look at typically before the show to see what you think is interesting. Uh, and so go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. It's free, of course. That's freetalklive.com. Jay Noon is with us as he's telling us a story about his recent arrest this weekend for driving while license suspended. However, you don't have a driver's license, Jay Noon, and you don't want a driver's license. Uh, you don't believe that uh, you have any obligation to get their government permission slip to operate, uh, say, you know, to, to, to go from point A to point B in a safe manner. And no one was alleging that you were driving dangerously. They were just saying that you didn't have their uh, their state paperwork. They arrested you for it. You bonded out. You went to court the next day where you refused to cross the bar and instead spoke to the man in the robe from the uh, the gallery area in the courtroom. And that's kind of where we left off your story. That's right. And also, my, my belief that I don't need a license, and also the state's own statutes don't require me to have a license or anyone who is a living man and not a person. So, anyways, <laughs> the uh, I start talking about uh, um, that I'm a living man, and what they have on their paper is a dead entity. And, uh, I, th and then they're like, well, they show a picture, uh, and it's a warrant picture, and it's got an image of me on it. And then they say, well, the name Joseph Francis Noon IV is on here, or Junior, they said, which is you know not accurate either, but in all capital letters, isn't this your picture? And I says, well, it appears that somebody took an image of me, copied and pasted it um, onto some document with a dead man's name on it. Uh, I call that identity theft. Who? I said, I said, so who else is involved in this conspiracy to deprive me of my liberty? <laughs> and so he goes, well, um, we're going to have to set a date. I go, no, this is getting, this is getting dismissed today. I says, who is the injured party? And I started going on about the injured party. He goes, what do you mean injured party? I said, there has to be an injured party in order, as this is a common law nation, there must be an injured party for there to be a case. Otherwise, if there's no injured party, there's no valid claim that I've injured anyone or caused damage, then there is no case. You've, you've injured the says, state. Well, he, well, this is what they went through. They said, well, that would be the Commonwealth. And I go, oh, well, present the man or woman that is named the Commonwealth and let them present their claim. Otherwise, dismiss and discharge just immediately. <clears throat> so he says, well, that's not going to happen, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, here's what is going to happen. I says, I charge $50,000 an hour to appear in court. He says, if you don't want to pay me $50,000 an hour, then you shall be gu guilty of involuntary servitude and slavery. And uh, I'm not a volunteer here. <clears throat> and then I said to him, and then to enforce my payment, I says, I will be bringing whatever state actors are involved to the only Article Three court in the country, which is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and is the Court of International Trade. As soon as I said that, he called for a psychiatric evaluation. I already had six guys standing around me. <laughs> they cuffed me, and they dragged me down to the cell. And meanwhile, wow. these, these bailiffs are being real jerks. Uh -huh. They're like, you're the you're a guy that doesn't pay property tax. I remember you. Mm -hmm. You're a cop blocker. I remember you. <laughs> you're a tax protester. And they're telling you. And this one guy has got a foreign accent. He goes, I came to this country because it's the greatest country in the world. And I go, look at you're doing Hitler's work. How wonderful is that? 
And because uh, I got down to with these guys, I, I mean, I, I actually I kind of enjoy it. So, so they're like, you should leave the U.S. And I said, well, I'm not in the U.S. United States. The United States is a corporation. Just look it up in a law dictionary. Mm-hmm. Look it up in Blacks. United States shall mean District of Columbia. So. Even, you know, so then they're like, you don't belong here, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I said, actually, you don't belong here. You are all a bunch of foreigners is what's going on. And you you're, you have your invaders occupied in this territory when you work for this district court. Oh, man. Two people are in the wrong. I wish I could have heard this conversation. <laughs> so, so anyways, I talked to a couple of shrinks to determine if I'm mentally competent or not. And... And, and that went over just fine. I explained the whole birth certificate thing with them. I, I talked to them two girls for like two and a half hours. Huh. And they're like, well, we got to go. And I said, no, 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 I got more stuff to tell you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, I'm like, you can't leave yet because you're going to just think I'm crazy. And uh, <clears throat> so I, uh, I, oh, I told them I'd be on Free Talk Live talking about it tonight maybe. I told them that I'm on Derek's show and they're writing it down. And I got a Jordan Page T-shirt on that says, um, Freedom's the answer. What is the question? Uh, they want to know about that. But I had a great time talking with them. All right. So at 4 o'clock, they bring me back up upstairs. That's closing the time. Courtroom, the courtroom is dead empty except for my girlfriend. Was there anyone and, in there watching you earlier? Oh, yes. The whole courtroom was full. Interesting. And, okay. And there, was, and there was people waiting for me to talk to me. They waited around outside the courthouse. Until 4 o'clock? I couldn't believe that. Uh, like it was like five o'clock when I actually walked wow. out of the courthouse. Okay. There wow. Were people waiting to talk to me. That that and this is Springfield. You know, it's a city. Everybody's you know, it's all you know, drugs and stuff. And sure. People don't really care about liberty. People actually cared. I couldn't believe it. Wow, that's incredible. So, okay. Yes. So I mean, I would expect that maybe in Keene. Um, so, anyways, they bring me back up in front of the judge, and there's only one one uh, body in a court in 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 the, in the in the bleachers for the audience. That's my girlfriend. And like the bailiff said, oh, you can leave now. Court's done. And, and she goes, no, I'm waiting for Jay. Oh, Jay's not coming back. They're, they're, <laughs> they're telling him. So, and I told, I scripted this whole thing for her last night. I go, this is what's going to happen. I go, they're going to arrest me. And then I'll be back after the courtroom's clear. This is what always happens to me. So <laughs> the judge, the, so the, the clerk says, oh, right, Joseph Francis knew. And I said, no. Nah. Joseph Francis. Joseph Francis Noon's a dead entity. Oh, okay, Joseph. Here's Joseph's file, and he hands it to the and he hands it to the judge. The judge goes. So the um, one of the shrinks comes over and says, "Oh, I talked to I talked to Joseph, and you know he's um, he has belie- he has strong rooted beliefs in liberty. Um, he believes that he might try to change things uh, in this country." And that's what his goal in life is. And he even told me it'd be easier just to pay to find get a license. But, you know, that's not the point. I mean, and he and I, and I told this, and this woman actually said, like, in a nutshell, everything I told her it was, mm-hmm. it was perfect. Hmm. You know, we talked a little bit about, you know, if people maybe stood up against the Nazis in the courtrooms in the 1920s or the Second Reich in the 1920s and the early 1930s, and maybe a bunch of people wouldn't have got killed. Hmm. And uh, so <clears throat> she goes... You know, there's nothing wrong with this man. Um, he's he's fine. You know, he's mentally sound, and, you know, he's okay. And, and he does understand the charges. And I said, I object. And uh, the judge just looks at me and just kind of, like, gives me, like, a one minute with his finger, and, you know. So, okay, that's fine. So when she's done, the judge goes, hey, what's your objection? I don't understand the jurisdiction. I go, I haven't injured anybody. There's, 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 there's not even a claim before this court, and yet I'm being treated like a like a rabid animal. Hmm. I'm being put in a cage. So I'm being threatened by by large men that are all wearing the same game uniforms. And um, uh, there's like three lawyers in there, and they just can't help it, but they're just chuckling. These three lawyers listening to me talking about the gangsters. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, anyways, the judge goes, "Well, prosecutor, do you really want this case?" And the prosecutor says something, and I don't even know what the prosecutor says. And I says, well, um, I says, I want to make whoever the victim is whole. I says, if I have to pay him or if I have to go work for him or if I have to work on his farm or maybe give him a cow, if I injured somebody, I want to make them whole because I, I am fully liable for myself and I, am, I take full responsibility for all my situations. And uh, 
the judge goes, well, I'm just going to dismiss this. Wow. And he goes, Mr. Noon, excuse me, Joseph, he says, <laughs> may, may I suggest... Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay. Voice. Hang on. We're going to come back with the very rest of your story in moments. Free Talk Live. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. Maybe we'll have time to sneak your call in if you make it right now at 855-450-FREE. It's always, uh, when Jay Noon calls in, it's always a lengthy uh, discussion because there's so many details to what it is that he does 
in court and when dealing with the police that I find just absolutely fascinating. Uh, he, you know, he went into court, was arrested for driving while license suspended. He doesn't believe that he has any obligation. He's never had a driver's license. To have a driver's license. And um, he also, by the way, uh, for a longtime listener, for people who are not longtime listeners, uh, we previously had Jay on the show uh, multiple times in the past. But most notably, he didn't pay property taxes on a house in Palmer, Massachusetts that he owned. Um, and they came after him for it. They ended up evicting him from the home and, uh, and forcibly taking it from him by tax sale. In that case, some of us from the Keene area here in New Hampshire actually went down to to show support for him and gathered outside of his house on the day that they were intending to take it. They didn't take it that day as a result of the activists being on scene. They ended up waiting several months before actually finally taking it when no one else was around, which is one of the kind of takes us back to the story we talked about earlier with the Nevada rancher who's currently in a a standoff with with the federal government. And when they did do the tax sale on the house... They had a free speech zone That's set right. up outside of the house that no one was standing in. Well, right. I walked in with a uh, video camera that day and was arrested for... Uh, well, they, they had the free speech zone outside of the house, plus the free speech the zone City outside of City Hall. Yeah. Uh, and I was arrested, ended up having the charges uh, dismissed with the help of the ACLU in my case. Um, because I'm not as researched on this, uh, you know, kind of courtroom theory, this legal theory that suggests that you aren't actually the name on your on the driver's license that you do have, uh, that there's this, you know, corporation that's been created in that name, etc. And uh, a lot of this stuff seems to go nowhere when you go to court. Um, Jay, however, has actually been trying to put these ideas into play to you know some success and some not so success but in this case sounds like it's a success he just told us a charge of driving while license suspended was dropped now he did have to go to court he stood outside of the bar and uh, and made a few statements out there denying that he was the name that they were calling said that's a dead entity he got psych avowed that he's yeah they forced him uh down, they took him away actually because he'd been bailed out so he was not in custody when he went to court they took him into custody forced him into a two and a half hour long psych evaluation where he explained himself and uh jay you're back on free talk live you came back into court after they'd cleared the courthouse it was uh, right around closing time the judge actually uh called you by your first name when you corrected him that time instead of calling you mr noon he actually corrected himself and called you joseph and uh, and then yep. he he dismissed the case. Yeah, he dismissed the case. And uh, but um, I had one friend, two friends that are with me there in the morning. And the one guy said, you know, all you had to you you didn't have to go far at all. He just put you in a psych. He said you went too far to judge. He goes, I could tell the judge was ready to just get you out of there. Um, and uh, he uh, he goes, didn't you hear him say he's just you know doesn't want to deal with this or something, and, he, and I didn't hear it, but my friend said he heard it. Uh, but, you know, it is real distracting when you got, you know, men that are, you know, six inches taller than you and, you know, three inches wider than you, you know, ground in your ear mm-hmm. um, as, you know, things are going on, because that's what they like to do. So I knew I was getting arrested. Whatever. Who cares? You know, sure. if I did this. If I did this in England in the year 1100, I get my head cut off. Yep, yeah, that's so, true. So you know, yeah, yeah, it ain't a big deal. And I had fun. I got to talk, I got to educate people in the, uh, you know, in the cells. They actually moved me because I was because I went down there. It's all loud. Then I was sitting with like 10 guys, and I start talking to them. And the only voice that's going on is mine. And like there's total silence. And usually these guys are all yelling back and forth at one another. They're all listening to me. You know, I'm giving them some Mark Stevens, some Dean Clifford. You know, so, so what's the takeaway here? I mean, Jay, this is oh. you're a, you're somebody who's done a lot of research on this. Uh, they they dismissed the case on you, so congratulations. That's a that's an amazing success story. Um, but you know, you kind of put a few things into play here. Was there one thing that you felt was the key? Uh, is there something that you think people should really look hard at as far as these ideas? Yes, I didn't balk under threat, and the threat was you're going to go to a psychiatric ward for 28 days. And I was like, yeah, I could use a vacation, whatever. <laughs> you guys are going to pay me $60,000 an hour. Just the attitude you're going to have with these guys. And, uh, and so and I stood firmly on, that's not my name, that's a dead entity. Mm-hmm. I'm this guy. And I explained. But wait, okay, to- what if somebody, hold on, Jay, what if somebody has a license? 
I mean, most of us have gotten these things because we were told we had to do it. Uh, you know, whether it was under duress or whether it was just mom and dad when you're 16, they say, you got to do this, son. And, you know, then you go and you do it. And then you've got one of these things. So what if what if they're uh, charging you with something else, uh, you know, marijuana possession or whatever, and you have one of these licenses? Then, you know, does that change how you have to approach this? Or can you still say that's a dead entity? No, you can still say it is a dead entity because it is. And it actually doesn't even matter if you have a license. See, I claimed that that piece of dead flesh, that afterbirth, is my property, so it should have taken us out of the realm. And I don't think, that's another thing, too, I had all the paperwork for that, that claim, that, that afterbirth claim, which I know sounds really creepy. Yes, it but, does. But uh, I, I had the paperwork with me, and um, I, uh, I told the shrinks, because it's all in the paperwork. I go, just Google this stuff. It's all there. And I said, the paperwork's there. They took my paperwork. So the paperwork... I explicitly had my paperwork all in a specific order, and, and I had a couple of pages turned around. And this is another thing that we do, because when they do take us, they take everything out of your pockets. They take all your, your, your little briefcase and the whole nine yards, mm-hmm. and, and they go through everything. And um, uh, and I had memory sticks in my pocket. They go, oh, you're going to have a bunch of information on them. And I, I always take at least one of my documents, and I handwrite it, absolutely handwrite it. That proves that you're living, you know, and that's, uh, I've just been getting better at this because I've been, I've been working at this. I've been doing this stuff since I was 16 years Jay, old. Jay, you got to get up here 34. to New Hampshire. I mean, we're sitting here during I the really, break saying we really want to be able to record this stuff. We didn't know it was happening, obviously, uh, and of course you didn't know it was going to happen. You got arrested. So it would be nice if on a short notice basis you could have activists show up with video cameras to record this. That's I mean, right. this sounded like an epic court hearing, uh, and, and you would have had that support up here. Well, even without having activists necessarily where Jay is, he said that his girlfriend was with him. Mm-hmm. And if she had a press pass from some organization that is already registered with the SJC, as is Free Press Publications, then so she could, could have taken a video camera in there had she had a could, press pass. You, you could provide her that. Good. I could. So uh, can you get in touch with Jay? Uh, you got him on Facebook? Uh, I Jay, send me an oh, email. Yeah. And I can get that worked out. All right, Jay, thanks for the story tonight, man. Very interesting and glad you made it out. And uh, hopefully people had some some good uh, ideas they could take away from that. But, again, it's something you want to do if you have backing. I mean, you managed to pull it off on your own, but you're really talented and, and researched at this. And, and the more that we can show people this, because it's, it's great to have you tell the story. It would be another thing entirely to actually see the video of this transpiring. And I look forward to helping you with that when you come up here to New Hampshire. I know that is your plan eventually, and we hope to see you here sooner rather than later. And I'm sure we'll see you at Porkfest, right? Yeah, absolutely, yes. All right, man. See you, in a, see you in a few weeks at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And thanks, Jay, for your call tonight, Jay Noon. Uh, Porkfest.com, by the way, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. And I'm sure during Porkfest, Jay's brother will once again have his aerial drone flying around. That's right, yeah. Taking videos and photos. And there's a bill that has a hearing in front of the Senate tomorrow that we're actually going to go to. Yep. And show them photos from last year taken from Josh's aerial drone and show them if you guys pass this bill, these photos now become illegal. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Let's go, though, to Liberty Phoenix in Illinois. You're on Free Talk Live. Liberty Phoenix. Hey, guys. I'm really excited that you guys had Jay Noon on. Um, My topic is kind of sort of similar. Um, My... You have way has, less time than Jay Noon did, though, so uh, like, <laughs> you've got like 40 seconds. Well, my friend has gotten a, uh, a sighting from the city that says that we have to clean up the, the backyard, otherwise we're going to be fine. Uh-oh. I just wanted to know if you guys know of any tactics that we can use to fight back against that. Cause apparently, if violating some city ordinance, blah, 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 we rule you, mm. give us money, is essentially what they're saying. And I want to know if you guys knew of any outlets this this um, happened just recently down. Are you the yeah. owner of the property? No. You're probably screwed. I mean, they're going to put the screws yeah. to the attorney, or not the attorney, the uh, the landlord in that case, and the landlord will probably order you to clean it up if that hasn't already happened already. 
I would say, uh, get the hell out, move to New Hampshire, and uh, and then maybe you'd have a chance here. But they pick on people for that here, too, in different places. Uh, I well. would also look at the zoning ordinances and try to figure out if anything was actually visible from the street. Yeah, you can read the actual ordinances and see if they're bluffing. So a lot of time they're not even following their own rules. That would that would help. You can call about it again, maybe give us a little more detail on another night. But thank you for the call, Phoenix. We'll see you tomorrow at freetalklive.com. The easiest thing in the world for a reader to do is to stop reading, according to the late, great Barney Kilgore, who became managing editor of the Wall Street Journal in 1941 and grew the paper circulation from 33,000 to 1 million by the 60s. And he'd be pleased to know that his paper is one of the few that people now pay to read online. Someone else pre-internet who realized that attention is fragile? Motown Records founder Barry Gordy. In the early 60s, when his label dominated the charts, he'd bring a dozen real people into the Hitsville, USA studios and audition songs. And he'd ask, if you were down to your last dollar, would you spend it on this record or would you buy a sandwich? Today, attention span seems like an oxymoron. For tips on cutting through the clutter, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, April 7th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.92 per ounce. 